Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for the first edition. Well, it's been a minute anyway. Another edition of the Courtside Commentary Podcast, which is the NBA podcast on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube channel, people. NBA regular season finished technically yesterday now, so we're here for the NBA playoffs and play-ins preview 2024. So we'll be discussing all the matchups on the Western Conference, all the matchups on the Eastern Conference. Of course, with the play-ins, we will be discussing the potential matchups between like one and eight, two and seven, for example, people. Um, so yeah, man, big up to everyone who's locked in. Love to everyone who just joined over from the raid. Big up to everyone who's locked in just it was just joined right now. Make sure you hit the like button on the video, though. Run up the likes expeditiously. Make sure you share this across all of the socials as well. And on top of those two things, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Sarcasm CE TV, as well. And yo, it's not just me, man. I had to bring out the all star team. You know what I'm saying? I had to get the, the, the cast back together. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the cast of all casts. All stars, you know what I'm saying? All, all, all stars, you know what I'm saying? So let me bring in the man them. Peter's here, Eli's here, Cameron's here, Jez is here as well. Large of everyone that is tapped in, Fats is here as well. What you man telling me? Everybody good? What's going on? Yeah, all good. It's been a while though. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've done one of these. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. What's everyone saying? Everybody good? Oh, it's been a minute. It's been a good, minute. man. It's all good. It's all good. 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 It's been a fantastic day. <laughs> Talk about it. Why has it been a fantastic day? day? Um, I got the hate watch prime in the morning. Look at Two this teams guy. lost. That was fantastic. The Lakers decided to not be useless for one fucking day in my life and helped us out. And Bradley Beal dropped 36 and we're out of the playing tournament. So I can hate watch this in peace. And I can be yeah, under- can- it's been a great what? day, guys. There you go, P. I'm glad you oh, had the, um, you. a fabulous day, man. Fan today I was for two hours. It felt kind of gross. I don't ever want to do that shit again. I probably never will. Hopefully, I never have to. But um, the regular season's over. So, no more Pistons. No more Spurs. Uh, hopefully, no more Hawks. Sorry to any Hawks fans out there. But, uh, we're, we're, we're trimming it down to real teams. So, um, shout out to everybody. Everybody in the chat. We do these sometimes. We'll probably, probably be back sometime this weekend to talk about the actual playoffs. Yes. But, um, like. Yeah, so shout out to all of you, some new faces. You guys are probably like, who the fuck is this guy? Um, I'm the guy who said Alvarado needed to get deported like two years ago. Yeah. And, <laughs> yes. so, um, yeah, that's what it is, man. Nobody's perfect. He did He did say that. Obviously, Eli in the building as well. Eli, what are you telling me? You good? Hey, man, it uh, could be better. Hey. I'm not gonna speak on football. I'm just speak on basketball today. Yeah, basketball, your, your team made the playoffs, man. Your team made the hey, playoffs. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let's go, go Mavs. Let's go, Mavs. Let's go. I'm saying in the building. Set on the Clippers. There you go. We got Cameron in the building as well. Cameron, you been? Is this your day, bro? You have been on the tunnel before? Yeah, this is my first time. I think actually, Crazy. I've been on for football. I've been on for football like real. Football. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. like not chilling. Not crazy. It is. It is. Nah, I've been <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy, but you all good in everything, though, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm all right when it comes to sports, not really, but everything else, is getting <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> but like, my like, I mean, this guy was naming off teams, I was waiting for the Raptors stray, He's like, no more Spurs, no more. I'm like, I was waiting for the stray on the Raptors. Hey, hey, I actually don't dislike the Raptors at all. I like the Raptors, no, no, I don't I, like, I like them too, but we this is this is the first time in like. I guess four years. Uh, not the, the Scotty years hard to count because no Raptors fan counts Tampa, right? So in like a decade, this is the first time I've been like, "Ooh, draft! Excited!" Like actually, you know, it's weird. I don't know, but let's That's... talk basketball, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we gonna get we gonna we gonna talk all things basketball. Daniel, what are you saying? You bless? I'm good. How's everyone? I'm just good. Happy that I have basketball to look forward to. Yeah, that, that seems to be a common theme <laughs> among the panelists. And I'm in full agreement, man. I, I even have a, I'm just, yeah, playoffs. That's what I've been looking forward to. It's just to show that Man City playoffs. fans are not real people. We have seven people here and not one supporter of that club. I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> trust they're me. not real. We, we got Fats in the building as well. He probably thinks number 18 is on the way to the Lakers. Fats, what are you telling me, though? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, the in season tournament <laughs> champions is here, man. He's in the playoffs now, yeah? The ISC champ, yeah, boys? Yeah, watch out, man. We're getting serious now, innit? 
Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, I just, I just hope y'all win. Y'all playing game and y'all get the nuggets so they can knock y'all out. Hey, hey, what, what's hey, what's up? I told you, actually have to go to the players first. Like, you know that. I, I, I man, I'm, I'm bringing the smoke, man. I don't care. Bring it on, Pelicans, man. Give me that second, flipping second spot, man. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, I oh, need y'all. Man. I need y'all to win. Get that guy, seven seed so y'all can get smoked by the Nuggets. I, I, I don't think Let's so, run. too. <laughs> I don't think he, he knows. Know. He but, know. Know. Just out of curiosity, I, I just want to gauge I just want to gauge your current level. Do you know what happens if the Lakers win on Tuesday? Yeah, I'm aware. We got. I think we got the – who's the second seed again? I think oh, we got no. the Nuggets. <laughs> 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 the Nuggets. World <laughs> champion. <laughs> now. <laughs> what, 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 the Thunder, isn't it? That's the thing. No, 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 no. no. You, got the, you, got the you got the Nuggets, man. That's why I said you y'all, need y'all need to win. You have yeah, to win on Tuesday. And y'all play against the Nuggets. San Antonio on Friday. Mm-hmm. But yes, that kind of screwed everything up in terms of the Lakers. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, if we have to deliberately lose, I don't mind it. So. Hey, fair enough. Oh, the Lakers in position to be deliberately losing in the players. Is that what we're saying? Are we confident? Yeah. Look, is that what we're saying? Yeah. Look, I just I don't I don't think any team is deliberately losing in a single elimination. Well, in their case, double elimination tournament. No. Is that what we say? I will say this with my chest: We are not getting swept like last year again. Okay. Oh, four one. Is it four eight eight facts? Four one, right? Four, one. Well, they're winning one game. Four, two four, in six. Six. That's a fact. That's in six, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, You're no, saying that's sure. against the Nuggets, right? Okay. Anyways, yeah, against yeah, the, the Nuggets. Against the Nuggets. We give okay. them the delusional. I was just asking okay. him if he knew what, what the situation he was in is. I wasn't asking for a prediction, but we'll get I would we'll expect get nothing less. We're going to get this. <laughs> we're going to get that. consumers of the content for long <laughs> enough. That's like his 50th worst prediction ever. Thanks. And last but definitely not least, Jez is also in the building. Yes, what are you saying? Yeah, shout out, Jez. He is a good one. Shout out, Jez. What are you saying, Jez? Is good? No, uh, no, big up to everyone that everyone in the panel. Big up to you, Cameron. Um, first time speaking to you. Um, also, big up everyone in the chat. Hey, man, it's unfamiliar settings, man. My team is first in the conference, the Western Conference. Congratulations, sir. So yeah, man, we getting into we getting more into it. Man. I love, I love. Okay, I'm a big OKC okay, fan. Shay's from my hometown, so like not in not Toronto, where everybody says he's from. He's from Hamilton, Ontario. That's uh, he's, he's not from yeah. Toronto. He's my dude. I love like I absolutely love Shay's game. Everything about him. Like if there's one team I'm cheering for in the playoffs, which is the OKC okay, Thunder. I call him Maple Jordan for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's Maple Jordan. It is, but all right, cool. Um, before we carry on, no, this one gonna be a good one. Run up the likes again, people. Make sure you share across all the socials, subscribe. You lot any questions? I will do my best to get to any of the better questions. Of course, if you super chat, that's a surefire way to make sure we get to your question. We will be getting predictions from the man in both press conferences. I mean, both, right? Yeah, both conferences. Sorry, people. We will be both east and west. So we'll start with the west. We'll start. We will start with the playing tournament. We will go there. We'll just start with the playing uh-huh. tournament. Say again. Ha, uh, not me. This, not guy, me. <laughs> this guy, yo. All right, cool. So uh, we'll start nine yeah. and ten. Kings versus the Warriors. And you know what? Cameron, we'll go to you first and foremost. Kings, Warriors. Who do you have winning that matchup and why? Warriors. Warriors. Okay. Um, and then not really, like, I think I think it'll be an easy game for them in the sense. Uh, the Kings made a big mistake at the deadline this year. Um, they didn't they didn't do the, the move you needed to do, the all-in, the like what the Pacers did. Go and get Pascal. Go and get out. There's players out there to go and get. That would have made sure that you do not have to be in this situation, and they didn't do it. They put faith in you know Keegan Murray's growth, which Keegan's all right, but to say I'm not giving up Keegan Murray for a guy like Pascal who's not NBA dude, and I, I just I talk about this situation because I have intimate knowledge on it because that was one of the teams that was looking to upgrade, and they looked at the Zach Levines, they looked at Pascal, they said Pascal, you know we're not going to pay for him. Pacers did it. Look what happened. They secured their spot. It's not that hard. And at the end of the day, you're going up against champions. Like, let's not let's not kid ourselves. Golden State's done. They're not winning this year, but they they're looking at Sacramento as food. It's like it's still it's like 
young-ish playoff team, right? They're not a young team because those guys are like 27, 28. They're kind of in their prime, but they don't, they're not battle tested. They have one playoff ever. So you got, you got Draymond, even Clay, like Steph, these guys are looking at him like, cool, no problem. Like that's not that for them. I don't, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Like Sabonis doesn't play hard enough defense. Um, in the playoffs, it's different, right? Like you have, you're running your whole squad. You're running, the, not your whole squad. You're running your best eight players, nine players. That's it. Sacramento's last two, nothing. Like when you go to, when you look at Golden State, their shorter lineup, it's just not really. For me, if this was last year, I'm taking, I'm feel, I'm still taking Golden State because of the experience. This year, it's even, it's even worse for me. So that's my reason. I'm, I'm on, I'm on the Warriors for that, for that game. D Live will go to you next. Same, same question. Um, King Warriors. Warriors, easy money, man. It's, hey, it's, it's not even a question. They don't have Malik Monk. And Sabonis mm-hmm. is gonna get bullied by Kaminga and um, Kaminga and Looney on the inside. Like it's, it's 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 come on. We all know Sabonis is not a he's not a center. He's a power forward. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's it's, it's ridiculous. I, I don't I don't Kings think that well. um I don't think that the Kings have enough firepower to beat the Warriors. You know, mm-hmm. and the Warriors have been in this position before. It's 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 they've been there, done that. I, I think they're they're gonna they're gonna go in, do a job, and then it's gonna be on to the next game essentially. So. Sorry, but Kings, better luck next year. Feeling mutual there? You agree, Peter? Um, yes, but not – well, my main reason is cool. I don't like centers or I don't like bigs that can't play above the rim. Okay. And I felt this way about Sabonis for pretty much his entire career. He's a good player, but especially in this Western Conference in general – considering you're going to have to deal with, which is funny because, like, he'd be whooping Anthony Davis's ass in the regular season. But, like, I just don't see that happening in a playoff series. Like, he puts the bonus on the court as somebody like a Jokic, and it just doesn't seem right for Murray. Even when you want to talk about their perimeter defense, like, mm-hmm. the Kings' best thing was pushing the pace, getting shots up, getting to the rim, kicking it out, like hitting threes kind of thing, like your normal NBA team. Their thing was trying to kind of outscore people. Mm-hmm. And Monk's hurt. I've never been that optimistic about Kevin Herter as like a high-level NBA player. And, mm-hmm. I mean, he's hurt now too. So two of their guards are gone. Their defense on the perimeter wasn't great even with everybody healthy. So mm-hmm. I don't think the Kings excel at anything that the Warriors, in this case, couldn't deal with. Granted, it is a one-game play. It is a one-game scenario. And the Kings are the home team. Like, I remember, what was it, two years ago, three years ago, we sat here and we were all like, yeah, the Clippers are probably going to go to Minnesota and win. Next thing you know, Nas Reed Reed hit like three threes in the third quarter and beat the Clippers. Mm. You know, it's like, it is a one game scenario, but I think the Warriors should consider themselves favorites here. And I think they're better equipped to win a game like this. So I would pick that. Guys, yeah, Fats. Over to you, my yeah, friend. I have the same feeling that like, uh, like the other panel would because I just think that in this kind of scenario, I think Warriors did ha- do have more some of the experienced players that they had, and I think it's, it will it will be no excuse for the Warriors not to beat the King, considering the fact they they rested um, Steph and Dre for for the game in the plane. So yeah, they're gonna have to go through it regardless. Same. Daniel, you agree with everyone else in regards to the Warriors being the Kings? Yeah, yo, uh, Daniel. Yeah, I agree, but I don't know who. I don't. Yeah, I agree, but I don't know who Fat is going for for the Lakers and the. Um, oh, we're gonna vote there. Yeah, we're gonna good there. Yeah, we're good there. We're, 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 we're talking Kings there. Warriors. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. We're just talking Kings Warriors, my guy. So if he says, so if he says the Lakers lose, I'm going. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go there. Did go you have winning out of Kings Warriors? I think can't hear. Oh, then. All right, cool, cool. Going Jez, then. same. No, fair, well, fair. I'm pretty much, I pretty much share the same opinion. Um, the very one on the panel. Um, obviously, I've been actually watching a lot of Kings as of late since we do it on the playback as well. Um, the way they can look amazing, in my opinion, in three quarters, but then the fourth quarter not being able to close out, and I feel like I think a big part of their team is also decision making. I don't really trust many of the players. On the ball, and unless it's um, D Fox, 
So bonus can go and get all the double doubles that he wants, but a double double doesn't mean automatically you have a good game or you'd actually help your team win the game, in my opinion. I don't think I look at the bonus feel like I just don't look at him as a second option currently, because obviously Monk is out and feel like he can be enough of a support to go and help his team win. And like everybody already mentioned, the experience, obviously, if you go against Steph Curry, like most most of the time I will always back Steph Curry, because of how good he just is and how much he can how much he can just pretty much step step up in moments when he has to step up. No, that's so, yeah. so yeah, warriors for me. Warriors and, and playing game. Hey, hey, fats, don't run. Don't run, fats. I see you. Don't run. I, I see you. Nah, nah, nah. I know your game. Don't run. You know what's next? Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to eat high. I'm about to eat high. You think I've not streamed with you for three years and I don't know the moves that you are going to try and pull? You cannot pull the shenanigans on me. Yeah. I go, I go, I go get my food shenanigans. Nah, nah, Mr. Lakers. You know what I'm saying? 18th championship. You know what I'm saying? In-season tournament of champions. AD, LeBron James, D-Lo, Rui, AR-15. Nah, nah, nah. Don't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Don't Over go anywhere. Years, Do not go anywhere. <laughs> Pelicans, Lakers, fights. Who you got winning? All jokes aside, yeah, we are, we are. I predict, I pre- I'm predicting us to be, be the Pelicans. Okay. And no disrespect to the Pelicans, I think they just um, they have a bad matchup with the Lakers. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we beat them. And if we're gonna have to face Denver, regardless, why not? They go for it. Yeah, man. So it is, it is what it is, isn't it? That's the thing. Because I don't. Have any much expectation when it comes to kind of like let's see like for the for the games that I was I was watching earlier the Denver Nuggets and then the, the OKC game even though they smacked um, the Mavericks game where they I think they were resting yeah, some you places that game today? yeah out of all the answer. games okay so yeah it's Mavs You're okay and hey, you watched yeah. the Mavs who rested yeah. every single one of their key players yeah, yeah what? There was yeah, like it's... six better games happening. Yeah, they, you they, know, yeah. You know, he was he was, ho- he was hoping that OKC gets beaten, <laughs> so the Nuggets can maybe go first. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Either way, that wasn't the workout for me. But yeah, it is what well, isn't it? So yeah, I, I'm expecting us to beat the Pelicans regardless. So and when you say you a, match, when a, you say, when you say you match up with them wrong, what what do you mean by that? I think it. it I think it's just that. Maybe play up a player in, in terms of regardless. I think I think they mm-hmm. just kind of like they don't have that kind of you know they, they're still a young squad as well in this league. Like the only player that they got probably CJ McCollum. That's the only that's the only player that that has mm-hmm. playoff experiences. Respect so, former Raptor Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, right? I don't have any. I don't have any kind of like I'm confident to beat these guys. Honestly, that man. That yeah, man. they do. They own the matchup too. They do own the matchup. I think it's like three to one this. Season. Oh, and we got the home court advantage as well. So yeah, so I think it's I think that the matchup's three to one this season. And um, mm-hmm. as much as I want the Lakers to lose this game, um, just because for the, the the theater of it, like I'm not like a Laker hater or anything. I love Kobe, but just the I I never really like I want the Pelicans to do. Well. It's like it's a young team coming up, and I'm kind of like over. It. The Lakers, and it would be nice to see. It'd be crazy, honestly. It'll be crazy that LeBron James, Steph Curry, one of them out of the playoffs. That's nuts, right? That's like a whole change in the guard. Um, when you think about it, with like AD versus like Zion, it's not really a matchup. JV can't hang with AD. It's not. It's not close to a matchup. So I think when you're talking about matchups, the matchups AD, and then you think about LeBron on the wing, Herb Jones, great defender. He just it's bully ball with the rest of them, right? Like Trey Murphy, skinny as hell. Herb Jones is even skinny as hell, and it's. And all they got to do is have those two really have a good game, and they should be able to handle them. Um, other teams can slow them down. Like weirdly enough, Sacramento again. I know we're. I just listen. Everybody hate on like Sabonis, but Sabonis versus AD, it's, it's something to be studied. Um, to be honest, he just gets. The I better don't understand of him. that. I don't get it, but he does get the better of him. He just bullies him. There's no, but there's nobody on. There's nobody on the Pelicans that can do that to him. So if they're just smart and they run the whole game through AD, they do this every now and then. They switch. They, you run it through AD, it's, it should be an easy game for them. Um, I don't know if they're making the playoffs, I'm be honest with you, but that game they should. Wait, well, no, if they win that, they're in. They're seventh. Yes, they, they win it, they're in. I yeah, think that's another really... part to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's another part to think eight. about. Yeah. Like, that's a that they don't want to play another game. So mm. I, think they, they, I think you'll see LeBron probably go nuclear. You'll see AD 
if oh, this all comes down to AD. If AD shows up, it's over. If he doesn't, then that's it. Like, I don't think they win the game, but he always shows up against this team. So, uh, yeah. I, I, like, I'm trying to find a reason to say they won't, but I can't. Like, I can't think. Yeah. Hey, you like what you're saying? Pelicans, Lakers, seven versus eight. All right. So as much as I'm, I'm gonna agree with, uh, I'm agree with uh, my my fellow panelists. As much as I would love for the Pelicans to do the business against the against the Lakers, psych. Nah, Lakers. I need y'all to win. I need y'all to win. I need to see this Nuggets Lakers matchup. I need to see it for the culture. Do it for the culture, bro. I don't need to see it. Yes, I need to see it. Yes, I want to see Jokic bully. AD, I want to see my boy Jamal Murray running the show. I need to see it. Please, Lakers, do it. I need y'all to beat the Pelicans. I need y'all to but beat outside the Pelicans. Of, outside of you just wanting to see the Lakers get humiliated, which I do. I understand that thoroughly. I get it. Trust me. Man. I get it. Yeah, like, from, from a sporting perspective, I get it. Who do you actually think wins the matchup logic? So, honestly, in my honest opinion, hmm. The Pelicans have been in pretty decent form. Uh, CJ McCollum has been playing well. Um, Zion has been playing well. Uh, Brandon Ingram's back from injury. They like their whole supporting cast have been playing well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they pull the bogey on the Lakers and, and end up winning the game. Okay. Now, can the Lakers win? Yes, they can. But I feel like some of their supporting cast isn't the best in terms of matchup. Like, you know, uh, like so they can go ghost. Hence the reason why they're even in the, the play-ins regard, you know, rather than, you know, where they normally should be as a, as a Lakers team. So I honestly think that it could go either way and I wouldn't be surprised. Like so it's, this is going to be a lot. Th- go ahead. The one thing I was going to say that I think when we Pelicans have a shot, and a real shot is if they show up with their ratchets. If, every, if everybody's hitting shots, if they're hitting their outside shot, if Trey Murphy four threes, CJ four threes, Herb Jones two threes, if we walk out of the game with like numbers like that, then the Falcons win the game because that means they stayed out of the paint. That means they, they pulled AG out of the paint. And that means like that, that's for me. Yeah, that's how they can win this game. That's kind of like my thing with the Lakers too. Like, do I think they're better equipped to win this game? Yes. But I've seen those guys – on the Lakers go weirdly cold for stretches of games. Well, they'll go yeah. like, and like, I don't know if this is just me, maybe because I pay attention to it more, but you'll have a game where Reeves is like one for six, Prince is 0 for seven from three, Delo's like one for four. Between that, you got like 17, 18 looks up and you made two. And I don't know if you guys know this, like, because I wouldn't expect most of you to keep too tapped in with Pelicans basketball, because like, let's be honest, it is what it is, whatever, like, we have lives, but. Herb Jones is shooting like 40% from three this year. He's shooting above 40%. Trey Murphy is one of the best snipers in the league. And I have no numbers to back this up, but they played the Suns in a series a couple of years ago when both those guys were rookies. And I remember thinking, like, these guys are going to be real good. Uh, I think the best chance the Lakers or the best chance the Pelicans have against the Lakers, I think, would just be asking Zion to guard LeBron. If that means Zion has to sag off him and let LeBron settle for the jump shot, like if LeBron has the jumper working, I don't know. You probably just shake their hands and get ready to play on Friday. But I don't see Herb Jones or Trey Murphy being able to stay in front of LeBron and keep him out, like keep him off the wind. No, they won't be able to. And, you, and the thing is, it's funny. I'm not like plugged in with Pelican basketball, but I gamble. So Trey Murphy last year was one of my favorite players to, to bet on when it comes to his three point percentage. This hey. year is coming back from, and I play and I play fantasy a lot. So Trey I had on all my teams. The problem with Trey this year is he if he's he just hasn't gotten right yet. It takes a while with this injury. Normally it takes a full year. He hasn't gotten right. Herb Jones is shooting a high percentage, but he's not taking a lot of them, right? So oh. it it's it really that's the thing. If if Trey Murphy's on, it changes everything for that team, man. If he's hitting if if he's hitting the four or five you know, he has those games where he had five, six threes. If that happens, then it's a wrap. But he just hasn't quite been there. But it's one – that's another thing. It's one game. This is the thing. That's what changes everything about this game. It's one game. They just need them to be fired for one game, and that's it. And so the Pelicans way are playing at home. One, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, this one's way closer than the other one. Like, this one can go the other way. I really don't feel Golden State. This one I feel like there is a there's, – there's somewhere where it could happen. I still think the Lakers are going to win. But there is a – 
there's a there's a good percentage chance that this one gets stolen by well not stolen but i will be curious to see what the odd makers open this up as i'm curious who the favorites are going to be like i, I haven't looked at the lines yet but i'm curious who who, they, who the book i think can't the see them making the lakers a road favorite that being said i think golden state is but they're only a favorite by like a point and a half yeah it's still crazy though you think about it, it like it is but also like to me that's not a road game in the way that like the Lakers traveling across country to go to New Orleans would be. This is true. This is true. Like, like it's literally right around the corner crowd, from each other. But we saw in the playoffs, even last year, you saw plenty of Warriors blue in there for the Sacramento games. Mm. Like they're just getting on a bus and driving down the 80. Like mm. they'll be it's, all right. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's not that far. So, um, but yeah, it's the great thing about the play in tournament is we can talk matchups and all of these things. But we've all been watching NBA basketball long enough. Some random guy with three threes in a minute. You go from being down to That's two a wrap. to seven. And the game is just over. Like, it's just over. Larry Nance decides he just wants to hit two threes oh, man. or something. Man. Yeah, like, we, we, we got one of them on the front of the I see a joke. For- hey, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you just need one guy. Hmm. Spe- I'm, I'm really curious with the Pelicans, what they're going to do with Brandon Ingram's minutes. Because we saw him come back and play a little bit today. You got to play him full game, man. 20, he played 23 today, but you got to play him 30, 35. If it doesn't work out, so be it. It's just, it's such a, like, I think that it's such an interesting, it's such an interesting question to me. Because I think they would do just fine. Like, the, realistically, they're not going to bring him off the bench. Like, he's going to start. Oh, yeah. 100%. But I, think, I don't think swapping Brandon Ingram for a Trey Murphy in a starting lineup in this game is going to be the difference necessarily between winning and losing. So I think the three ball is how the Pelicans would win this game. That's not really Ingram's thing. You but know, I'd rather know. Trey Murphy against that bench. I'd rather be like, yeah, that's know, what I would. That's that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, green light, yeah, right? Because if he's, yeah. if he's in the starter, if he let's, let's just say he hits two quick threes and he's starting, LeBron's going to switch on to him. You guys right? think like, like LeBron will take this game serious? Do you think there's a chance, like, when AD is not on the floor, the Pelicans go small and just put, like, Zion at the five? Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Go, that's exactly it. what they're going to do. I think that's going to be a very popular lineup. Even when even when AD is on the floor, I think they're still going to try and run him off the court. I think that's what they're – I think part of their game plan will be, let's see if we can get up and down. Even though we know Zion doesn't really run up and down the court, it's more about just you can hide in there and have everybody else run up and down the court. Um, I think you'll see a lot of that. I wouldn't be surprised. That's fair. Peter, who do you actually have winning the matchup, though? I think the Lakers will win because I mm-hmm. just think there's more paths to winning for the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the AD question is a question that you kind of just have to put Valentunas on him and pray. Mm-hmm. The, one, the one thing with that is if AD is missing shots, like, Valentunas is one of the best rebounders in the league. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the Pelicans are a solid rebounding team. But, again, if they're not missing shots, none of that matters. Yeah. Right, but um, I think the Lakers will win. But if I come home from work and I walk in the door and it's 15 3 and the Pelicans have made four of their first five threes, I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, you no, that's fair. That's fair, Daniel. What are you saying? Pelicans, Lakers, it doesn't matter who wins between these two, they will lose to the Nuggets anyway. I'll go Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. First, Jez, what I you love, I love the hating, though. I love the hating. I don't see it being said. But you know what? I'm telling you to your face. I'm yeah, I'm hating. Yes, I'm hating. Lakers, okay. Lakers, Lakers. Jez is Lakers. hating. I'm not hating. I just don't see it being said. I'm just saying, but no. Um, Jez, what you saying? Uh, uh, no, actually, because I was watching I was watching the game today, and obviously Lakers had it easy today against the Pelicans, which is kind of... An interesting dynamic because I actually didn't know until I actually was checking again that they actually was going to play them again in the play-in, which mm-hmm. could factor in the fact that you no, know, they just literally played each other, so they're gonna play in a couple of days. So obviously adjustments can be made, but from the Pelicans, like already mentioned, somebody could just somebody one two guys off the bench could start having a good game, contributing more than they did today. If Brendan Ingram plays more minutes today, the um neck in the playing game compared to today, how much is that going to impact? AD got injured today a little bit, but he said he's going to be fine, so he's going to be back back for the game. Water's wet, man. Uh, hey, AD, AD get injured, it's hilarious, but 
Hey, relax, man. It's only like, man. Hey, bro, I didn't say anything. Bro, I didn't say anything. Bro, oh, fuck that. Hey, mute yourself. Mute yourself. Mute just yourself. listen for trigger words and goes off. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, but mute yourself, bro. But anyway, <laughs> um, me, obviously, what I want is the Lakers to go through because we all want to see Lakers Nuggets. Because I think that's that's pure entertainment right there. Oh obviously, hey, well, obviously, you don't 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 to, to, also, to hey, oh, Fato, oh, Fato, you have already spoken. Mute yourself. No blood. No blood. You, 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 you already talked. Mute yourself. But um, obviously, people at the Playbox, Sarkism City TV, this is where we're going to be watching all the games. So if the Lakers do play the Nuggets, we will be there. But yes, will be there. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count out the Nuggets as much. But again, it's all about how they turn up on the day. Because I do believe they have enough talent to turn up and do something against the Lakers. d was playing well today. And the Lakers surprisingly hit a lot of even harder shots today. But I know the Lakers. I watched the Lakers a lot this season. I feel like Torin Prince or d or Austin Reed, something's going to happen. If you trade deadline d then all of a sudden the Lakers are good. Yes. Yes. Like, these guys, these guys. guys. <laughs> Hey, hey, we literally talked about it on the stream as well. Every time when there's trade rumors, this guy decides to play basketball. It's funny. But I'm just saying, if, the Lakers can have off days as well. Like I feel like it's not impossible to think of that. And we've seen it multiple times throughout the season as well. So I just say I'll go with the Lakers. But hey, I just hope I just hope they can do it. Because again, I just want to see Lakers Nuggets in the playoffs. Ooh, yeah, man. the same way. The, the same Hold way on a second. Goes. Hold on a second. You That's said you won right. Lakers Warriors, yes. you crook. Yeah, in the play, in the playing, but it's not going to happen anymore, right? So mm. now I want to see Lakers Nuggets. I mean, Lakers Warriors if could happen. Lakers Warriors could happen. I want to put that out. It could. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen still. It happen. Yeah, and like when we talk about those players who can go off the lot, like I will say to be fair, the Lakers they have more of those guys because their players are worse. So it's less expected. So when like a rehatch more drops thirty, you're like, geez, no, that changed the game. Or a Torian Prince drops like three threes, four threes, you're like, okay, that came out of nowhere. Um, you know, so the Lakers have more of those dudes who do that. Like even D'Lo has like six threes the other day. I remember watching him nuke the Raptors for eight threes or something, and I'm just like, eight threes from D'Angelo Russell? Like, wait, I'm confused. Um, so it, it can happen with the Lakers too, right? They have the same. It's worse for them though because it's those guys. Versus like a Herb Jones, you'll get your average like 10 point from or like 11. If he gives you like 25, you're real happy or 20. Or Trey Murphy, if he gives you 25, you're real happy. But he'll give you 15. Whereas you're going to get like six from Rui Hachimori or like 25. So really, that's that's the that's the inconsistency that hurts the Lakers. All right, that's, that's fair enough. So everyone then pretty much, yeah, because seven and eight are nine and ten, everyone is quite the same. So then that means the matchup would be the Pelicans versus the Warriors. You might got for that. Just real quick. Or is there a little bit more of a debate? I could be wrong here. I, I would take the Pelicans, man. You, you reckon the Pelicans beat the Warriors, yeah? Yes. Matchup wise. Um, mainly because like the Kings. Warriors don't have a guy the frame of LeBron. Like, Stop Zion. Steph is an all time talent, yes. But yeah. Trey Murphy's got a seven foot wingspan. Herb Jones, like near enough the same, right? They have the kind of bodies that you would want to throw at a guy like a Steph. Mm. I watched the game the other night when the Pelicans beat the shit out of them because I was hate watching the Pelicans to try and get out of this very tournament. And like from what I saw with the Warriors, the one thing they don't have that they had five years ago is like the same athleticism across the board, like on the perimeter. Mm. Like I think. Andrew Wiggins would keep up and do just fine in terms of like playing point of attack defensively. But the thing with the Warriors too is like I we haven't we haven't seen a road team win two games in this playing tournament. Like we haven't seen a 10 seed make the playoffs, right? Okay. We haven't seen it. And I just I in my brain, that would be awesome. It would be great. It would be cinema, but I don't see what the Warriors have besides Steph Curry that could go there and win a winner-take-all game against a team constructed like New Orleans. I think even if New Orleans went small and you put your three wings out there with CJ and you had Zion at the five, I just don't see what Golden State has that can keep Zion like out of the paint no, or can no, really... Draymond, have... No, Looney, no, no, nobody. What's up? Mm, I, yeah, no, neither of those. Dray Draymond... 
Zion will have Draymond in jail. Like, he'll, like, he'll, he'll, he's like, I, I, that's, like, I think, I think as much as Draymond, I like, I like Draymond. I'm not one of those, like, people who, listen, he's crazy, but it is what it is. We know what he is. It's like, I don't, I get, I'm over that now. With, with him versus Zion, that's just such a load. That's such a load, man. And, like, then the next guy is Trace Jackson Davis, also not a big guy. Like, if Zion, Zion's like, his body on yeah, it's, it's, it's a least. lot for those dudes to handle. Like, Looney, you definitely got to throw Looney in there. You're going to have to use all three of them. Um, but Zion's a problem for them. It's, it, that's a much tougher matchup. Like, like I, I look at the Sacramento game and I'm like, cool, that one, they're fine. But I, Pelicans, I think, it's a much tougher matchup. But it, that's a more of a toss up for me because I still, the reasons I think Golden State get over Sacramento are the reasons that they would get over the Pelicans. It's that battle sets, it's that experience. It's mm-hmm. that if Clay decides to show up and actually, you know, for a day be, you know, 28 year old Clay versus what he is now. Um, so that's the thing. But Pete, you're right. Like, um, all that athleticism being gone, at some point it's just going to get exposed. And two road games, you got a team that'll be pretty hungry after losing a first game. Like they'll they'll they'll, they'll come in, they'll come correct. So I think the Pelicans would be the favorite in that. And you'd have a team in Golden State that would win on the they would win and then have to fly across country. The Pelicans have been home by next Friday. They would have been home for like a week. Hmm. Yes, I don't yeah. think you can underrate the travel and an older team like having to go through that. I don't know, I don't see it, but Warriors Thunder first round would be fantastic. Pelicans Thunder, not gonna lie to you guys, that might be NBA TV. <laughs> it's what it is. It is what it is. I can't lie, man. I think yeah, this 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 game is definitely gonna be really really close because. You know, Warriors are getting key players back at the right time. You know, Kaminga's back. Um, mm-hmm. Looney's back playing well. You know, they they got they got some they got some uh, threats on the outside, and they also they also really good defensively as well. Um, they also they also have wingspans. They you know Kaminga he ain't no slouch. Uh, Clay is always guarded the, the the other team's best player. Uh, Draymond, you know Looney, they're all good defensively. Um, and you know Steph, his positioning is always fantastic, and he's great with his hands. So I can't just say that the Pelicans are just gonna show up and just spank them, mm-hmm. you know, because you know they have the experience, they have the players, they have you know the just like exactly what the what the Pelicans have in you know three point shooting. The same thing applies to the Warriors; they also have that three point shooting. And um, outside of Zion. Being the problem that he is, I feel like the Warriors will be able to handle him. You know, they'll, they'll probably – this will be a high-pressure moment for Zion that we haven't seen him in. So the question is, how is he going to handle that pressure? We've seen CJ in these in these pressure moments. Like, he he's he's cooked. He's cooked. So I have no I have no questions about CJ McCollum. I have no questions about some of, some of these other players that uh, – like Brandon Ingram, I think he's going to play well. But in regards to the other supporting cast for the Pelicans, I don't know too much about how they're going to react because this is going to be the first time for many of them in this situation. So it's like, how will they do it? How are they going to match up? Like, will they will they fold under the pressure? Whereas we've seen the Warriors do it time and time and time and time and time and time again. Right. You know, try to and test it. So it's kind of like Man City. We can't be counting them out like that. You know, mm-hmm. so this one is is probably going to be a little closer, but I'm still going Warriors. I'm going to go Warriors. You're going to go Warriors. Facts or Warriors? Warriors. Yeah. Um, I don't have any kind of expectation if, if, if the Warriors are going to win. Like my, my question would be, would be like, what if the Kings lose somehow in this game? And we've seen the we seen some close games. Pelicans Warriors, fam. Pelicans Warriors. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, which Time game out. Are you Time out. Pelicans <laughs> Warriors. Yeah, I would say. So which one do you think we're talking about? I didn't know. Yeah, the Warriors came in it. Yeah, the Warriors. Yeah, we're talking Pelicans Warriors. No, honestly, hypothetically, hypothetically, I'll say hypothetically, if let's say if the if the Kings advance, hypothetically, let's say the the King advance from the nine. No, we're not talking. In our hypothetical, the Kings are out, and it's the Warriors going to New Orleans. Nice of you to join us, Fats. Yeah, the Warriors can. I can't lie, yeah. I'll just decide, yeah. Um, this, is weird, this is a weird one. This is a weird one. I just think that... This is, this is, this is, 
No, no, <laughs> it's a weird one, but I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised if the Warriors win it anyway. But yeah, yeah sure. That's what you say, man. In a happy fan. I don't even know what we're talking about no more. I don't even know what we're about. I don't even know. That's how I feel. I don't know. I have no idea what we've been talking about. That's what you think about me. We're talking, Jesus. we're talking Pelicans Warriors in a happy yeah, like, right. oh. Winner of nine, ten versus loser of like seven, eight. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, my days. Oh, so Pel- 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 Pelicans Pelicans uh, no volume. He has to. He just Homer Simpson in real life, man. You know, with the monkey with the two Simpsons. You know what you know you know the monkey, you know the Simpsons where he's got the monkey with the two Simpsons. Oh no. He's just quiet and he just hears buzzwords. Like you hear Lakers The king's about you heard AD like, oh, AD. Um, yeah, he heard AD. What, what are you saying? Hypothetical in the hypothetical. In the hypothetical. Winner 9 10, which is Pelicans. Pelicans Warriors. Warriors. Yes. Uh, I heard actually, it's actually interesting to know actually the thing because obviously I'm not aware of the whole thing of the traveling in the States. Obviously, mm-hmm. big ass country pretty much. So obviously, how many hours would be the flight, by the way? Mm-hmm. From, two and a half uh, Probably about, yeah, about two and a half, three hours. Yeah. Hours. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, yeah, from from, uh, from, from yeah. SAC to there, it'd be about three and a half, maybe four. But no, they have a private jet. They're rich. Three and a half. Yeah, that's that's true. But um, nah, it's, I actually because to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of Pelicans. I I haven't watched a lot of Pelicans. I watched more Warriors than obviously Pelicans, so I can't really sit here and tell you an in depth opinion from the Pelicans outside from what I've seen maybe in the last couple of weeks. But I'm kind of with Eli. I feel like I'm still going to go with the Warriors. I feel like Steve, like, that's the funny part because I have strong opinions about Steve Kerr and I said how I actually don't rate him as much as the coach maybe as maybe other do. But if he is the coach that um, he is mental to be, I feel like he can draw a plan to how to stop the mismatches like you guys mentioned earlier, with the physicality that the Pelicans can provide compared to what the um, Warriors have. Kaminga is there, so I think he, he could work out. It could help out. He's he's a presence there. Um, Draymond, even though, like, also had, also had one guy on the panel, I think hey, nobody actually mind, minds actually Draymond. And I feel like he's been he's been long enough in the league to know that um, how to deal with certain guys because... I mean, we saw him obviously deal with LeBron at times or in a way to kind of just limit as much as possible. So I feel like I go with the Warriors for this one. But I also agree that it's going to be super close, though. I don't think it's going to be like a blow or somebody goes ahead, which would be funny to see a 10th seed actually go to the players because I actually never knew that no 10th seed happened. ever never never happened. Before. What was Miami when they did it? What was the it's Miami team when they did it? They were an 8th seed. Yeah. They were yeah. the actual 8th seed. They, they yeah. lost. And then they won, I think. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. So hey, Daniel, Daniel, we've never had a seven seed miss the play-in, and we've never had a ten seed make it. Mind you, we've only had three years of this tournament. Mm-hmm. So the Warriors beating the Pelicans in the eight seed game would be history for both reasons. Yes. Is it? So, I, I don't like that's why I believe it's gonna be close though. That's why I don't see it being a game where one team just completely dominates another team going into this, but hey. Hypothetical, huh? Nah, yes, Daniel, you there? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Same to you, man. Happy circle matchup. Yeah, yeah, no stress. Um, Pelicans, what? Pelicans Warriors. If they were to face off, you go in. Just can't doubt my guy Steph, so I'm gonna go Warriors. First, I respect that man, Steph on the court. I hear that. Oh, we lost lost to the Bulls, and then we beat the. We lost to the delay. Daniel, you, you got a delay. Won the second game. I think you got a delay. What the hell? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, but you got never mind. I think you got I think you got a delay. Yeah, yeah. Jump out and jump back in. Jump out the stream and jump back in. But run up the likes, you look. Run up the likes. Please make sure you share across all the socials. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sarcasm City TV as well. Hit that notification bell. Two people. Let me say. 
How many likes are we on? Let me know in the chat. I know it's not far. enough. It's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. You say 34. Hey, you lot. Like, Run up the likes. There's 156 likes. Like the yeah. thing. Like, like, yo, like, get us to 70 guys, likes, man. Guys, look, here's, here's the thing, right? Like the stream, dislike the stream, interact with the stream. Tell us why you like us. Tell us why you fucking hate us. Help us drive traction up for it. Close the mouths. Don't get fed on YouTube, guys. You yes. hate us that much, at least have the dignity to dislike. Don't be silent. I'll take 30 likes and 120 dislikes. I don't care. Flawless yeah. might, but we might get hey, more run up the likes. Hey, yeah, oh. man, it's all about interaction. Run up the likes. You're here. You're clearly watching. So get us to 70 likes, people. All right, we'll go over to the east. And what we'll do is we'll just speed it up. We'll do 7, 8. So everyone will do their prediction. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then the winner and loser of said matchup. So we've got here. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. on. I'm out. Is Trey Young playing? Super casual alert. I don't watch Hawks basketball. I'm not sure. Anyone in the chat know? Any of the panelists? Trey Young played. Yeah, yeah, Trey Young played. I was yeah. going to say. Oh, he played? He played. Yeah, he played in the. I was shocked. I saw it. I'm like, why? 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 But I guess, like, to get him some running, to get his legs going. But yeah, definitely have to, yeah. Yeah, he can't. He can't. Yeah, because like, yeah, no, I kind of, I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot they were in the plane. And at the end of the day, I just don't believe for a second they're gonna do anything in it. So I just, you know, I, it, when I saw that he played 32 minutes too, it's like they, they gave him a full ride. Right? Like, do, do any of us think the Hawks are gonna win that nine ten game? No, no. Right, that's cool. <laughs> we got the Bulls, so we got the Bulls. Okay, then, so you, we can wipe that one away. So seven, six, Bulls. Seven, you see seven, what the Bulls six, are with the Knicks today? The Bulls, the Bulls played serious. The Bulls like played hard for no reason. <laughs> for no reason, man. Why do they do that? Tryhards. Like, Tryhards. They, they were they were just doing? going they were going ham, and I'm like, there wait, the Bulls no... have been ninth place to cure. I was like, happy for overtime, but what are you doing, like, bro? You guys are good. Just, just rest up. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> I, I, I think I think it's hey, I think that, it's a rivalry, that, man. It's, it's like a recent yeah, rivalry yeah, between the Knicks and the Bulls. That's what it is. Reminds me of the meme where uh, Dewey got like a hamburger, like literally squeezed in the sound like a uh, with a fist, and I'm like, "Yo, nobody's gonna take your sandwich away, bro." <laughs> hey, bro, they were just out there to ruin like New York oh. Day. That's it. That's all. Oh yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. That's exactly what it was. You were ready that time. The over. Also, also, Tom Thibodeau playing Dante DiVincenzo fifty three minutes out of. Bro, he is a war criminal. He is a war criminal. Like, but, hey, whatever. Yo, Tibbs and Nick Nurse are the craziest coaches in any sport. Like, you could, like, the fact that these dudes will be like, like, OG, what, ran 40 something minutes today? 43. <laughs> it's like, bro, you just got back from injury after having to go back off because you played too much in your first game back. And he's like, yeah, let's run it back. 43 minutes. You'll be all right. <laughs> you're your most so important crazy. defender. Anyway, yeah, man, that's just crazy. That's cool. So everyone has the Hawks going out. So everyone's got the Bulls making it as the winner out of that. All right, seven six is Heat. Pia, we'll go to you. Um, Embiid sat today, right? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, he yeah. Left the today. last game early today. too. Yeah, yeah Embiid sat today. I'm gonna take the Heat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take the heat. Mm-hmm. I don't trust that guy's knee is actually okay. Mm-hmm. So you got, so you got the Heat. All right, so seven six is Bulls. Uh wait what? Oh yeah, that's we'll right. That yeah, that would be the hypothetical. Yeah, the uh, hypothetical the Sixers, because I don't want to watch the Bulls in the playoffs. <laughs> All right, cool. Eli, same, same, same to you. Seven Sixers Heat, and then obviously the loser of that versus the hey, Bulls. Playoff Two Jimmy, boy. Playoff Jimmy. You can't bet against Playoff Jimmy. And then they got <laughs> Scary Terry on their team too. I I don't know if they got it. I don't know if the Sixers have enough firepower to beat the Heat. You know what I'm saying? I, like like uh, Peter said, I don't I don't trust him. Bees knees. Like he he gets injured too easily. You know what I'm saying? Like one one little crossover, one little shimmy, one little ah, his knees gone, bro. Ankles got ankles getting taken, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I I I, I don't I don't see the Sixers beating the Heat. So I'm gonna pick the Heat. And in regards to the 76ers Bulls, hmm. That one's tougher, but I'm gonna I'm go with the 76ers. So you got the seven, so you got the 76ers beating the Bulls. Yeah, I do. All right, cool. First, first, Cameron, same to you. 76ers heat, and then the losers versus 70, the Bulls. 76ers. Um, I think if Embiid if Embiid's healthy, which I think he's healthy enough, uh, 
I don't see how the 76ers beat them. Um, I mean, the Heat beat them. Um, I know playoff Jimmy, I know about it. Uh, I just, I, I just, I was heavy on the 76ers to begin with, right? I think mm-hmm. they can win the Eastern Conference, um, in my opinion, if, if it beats healthy. Uh, Nick Nurse is an unbelievable coach, so that's going to be an interesting matchup. But playoff Jimmy, you never know, right? It's one game. Uh, and then if it's, uh, for me, then it would be Bulls versus the Heat. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the Bulls in that one. I mean, I'm taking the Heat in that one. Sorry, I'm taking the Heat okay. in that one. No, no, I'm taking the Heat in that one. Daniel, I already know you got the Heat beating the Seven Sixes. So seven because you're Heat, you're Heat massive. So Seven Sixes Bulls. Yo, I think there's a slight delay. Yeah, I think there's a delay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We're gonna pretend that he said the Sixers. Hello. Yes, Daniel. What are you saying? Yeah, he's on a delay. He's like talking to Tony. Seven Sixes <laughs> will win the hypothetical. Well, cool. Yeah, he said Seven Sixes. He did facts. Cool. Are you, are you with us? I got I got a different yeah. outcome here. So I got, oh, I got you, are you sure you got the right matchup before you talk about that? Yes, I do got the right sure. matchup. Okay, what what are the what is the matchups I'm gonna ask you? What are the two matchups? Just, so just I would say I would say the heat, the heat and the 76ers. I'll go for the 76ers for this. I've okay. seen them be, I've, I've seen them be playing through injuries that, okay. that I think it will be close. And and then and then the heat the heat will will, will beat the bulls then. Did he beat the Bulls? So I'm, proud of I'm, pr- I'm proud of him. I'm proud of you. Yo, serious, man. Oh, numbers, oh, numbers clear. Right, so, so the same as Cameron. I hear it. I hear it. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm proud it's of you. It's crazy. Jazz, what are you saying? Same two, two, same two um, questions for you. I go, I go with Heat win. Why are you interesting? The, um, the in, Embiid injury thing. That dude does not like. He's obviously he's scoring points. He's getting the 20, 20 plus points and that. He's getting his buckets, but that dude just looks. That looks like that dude looks like he's just about to tear his ACL every time he plays basketball. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I go I go with Heat, and then a hypothetical world where um the where the Sixers play the Bulls. I have the Sixers going through them. Okay. I'm gonna interrupt all of you. Hey. Um, I'm gonna interrupt all of you to update you on the live betting lines for these play-in games. Before you do oh, that, mm. make sure if everyone's watching this, make sure you gamble responsibly. Gamble I know if you're over the legal age. Although, like, probably just don't, I would say. But if you want to, whatever. Just make uh, sure you're over the legal age wherever you're at, people. According to ESPN Bet, the New Orleans Pelicans are favored by one and a half over the Lakers. And the Warriors are road favorites of two and a half over the Kings. That's big favorites. Yes. That's big. In the Eastern Conference, Philly is a home favorite at four and a half over the Heat. The Bulls are a favorite at three and a half over the Hawks. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, that Bulls, that Bulls lines. That's easy money. (laughs) Bulls minus three and a half. I would be hitting that right now. I just don't believe the Hawks can be irrelevant for an entire season, get Trey Young back, and just run through the playing tournament. That shouldn't be how this goes. Fess? Yeah, that's facts. Fess? Yeah. Hey, but speaking of that, we'll go for back from the East now, go to the Western Conference. Your son's PO. Take on the Timberwolves. All right. So um in one of the four playoff series that are confirmed, uh the Suns, even at the end of the season in Minnesota, kind of have to awkwardly go back next week. So that game, that series is starting on Saturday. We've got that confirmed in terms of a date. The time is to be decided. Magic uh, Cavs. The, the time's still not decided. All right, first. No, yeah, they're not going to decide the times until they know all four of the matchups. But you go, you go. Mm-hmm. Magic Cavs but... and Suns Wolves start on Saturday. I figured they would, just because they're not waiting on any play in tournament results to get it started. So, um, how do I feel about it? Uh, I think it will be tough, just because the Wolves. Uh, the Wolves' length on defense, I think that I think that poses issues in terms of like getting to the rim, and then you have one of the best rim protectors in all of all time in Gobert. The great thing for the Suns is Devin Booker and Kevin Durant don't really need to get to the rim. Mm-hmm. Bradley Beal's been the rim pressure guy for most of the year, um, so uh, I'll say the Suns will win in six games. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes seven, just because. While I've watched plenty of Wolves basketball this year, I've not really been too impressed with their offense. 
I think it's pretty like middle of the road stuff, but I do think their ability to just throw out a bunch of guys on the wing who have like almost seven foot wingspans and are between like six five and six eight mm-hmm. is difficult. And I really like Nas Reed off the bench. I don't understand how that guy shoots it from like 30 feet and makes them so consistently. It kind of bothers me. But um no, I like I like the players the Wolves have. I just don't think in a seven game series, I'm not gonna bet against the offensive talent the Suns have relative to what like the Wolves can produce. If the Wolves had like a Kyrie or they had like a Luca instead of like a Mike Conley, I'd probably feel differently. I'm just not sure where they're gonna get enough points to win four times out of seven. That's, you know, I could be bullshitting, I could be wrong. We'll see. I mean, it's not staying with you. Clippers Mavericks. I'm gonna go Mavericks. I don't think Kawhi's knee is right. Hmm. I'm gonna go Mavericks. And it's that solely of Kawhi's Kawhi was playing game one, he said hopefully. Hmm. Same kind of shit he was saying last year when they knew Kawhi's meniscus was torn. I'm not saying his meniscus is torn, but how coy they are about that, and how little you're just hearing about. Kawhi's availability in general in terms of specifics, I don't yeah. think it's right. So I'm going to take the Mavericks. Well, that's, all right. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Eli, same to you. Well, Timberwolves, Suns, first and foremost. Um, Suns and six. For the, all the reasons that Peter said, you know, I, I KD, Booker, Bradley Bill, when, when he decides he wants to, you know, shake off his uh, – that wizard, that wizard bozo gene, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just think they have way too much offense, way too much offense. Like, and we all know what what Booker and KD can do in the playoffs. Like, can do the do do the Wolves have enough to stop them? You know that that's that's the question because they can pull up from anywhere on the floor and, and, and at a high rate and be able to sink these buckets. So. I don't know if it's going to be beneficial to them to play Gobert because they're going to target him. Let's be real; they're going to they're going to target the mess out of him. Like it's it's not gonna, it's not it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. So I I just don't see I don't see the the Wolves winning four games out of seven like like Peters. I just don't see it. They don't have the offense, you know. Outside of who is it? Mike Conley, who's you know hit or miss. Aunt Edwards, first time in the playoffs. Um, is Cat healthy? And it's been there a couple times. They've just lost. Cat's back. Yeah, Cat's back. Cat's back. Yeah, Cat's back though. Yeah, Cat's back. played Friday and he played today. So again, I'm not sure, like from a conditioning standpoint, but they have no more time. It's kind yeah, of they, you gotta put them out there and you gotta play. Yeah, I I just don't know, man. I I, I don't I don't see them winning. <laughs> you know, I I just don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, but. Suns and six. That's all I'm gonna say in regards to that. Six. I don't. I don't, see, I don't see the wolves doing it. Suns and six. That's fair. And obviously, Clippers versus your Mavericks. Yeah. I can't wait for that. Kyrie <laughs> Luke, the boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> we. Hey, we going. Yeah. We. Hey, listen. I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself. I just think that um that we got the players to do the business against the the Clippers. Hmm. You know, Kyrie Luca. Different animals in the playoffs. We all know this. Like the 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 ball that we've been playing up until this point, like the last like I want to say maybe fifteen games of the season, mm-hmm. where, we, where we went on this crazy run. I just think that um, I think that we've been playing playoff ball up until this point. So we already in our rhythm. We already in our groove. And the fact that we've rested our players for the last two games up until this point, letting them get healthy, you know, letting them uh, let their bodies rest, you know. I just think that we're we're gonna have a little too much for the for the for the Clippers. Yeah, the Clippers are gonna they're gonna get their games in. I think uh I wouldn't be surprised if uh if, if it goes to seven, but I still think we win. I, I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna beat them more times than we than they beat oh, us. Mavs in six, I mean Mavs in six, yeah. Yeah, Mavs in six or seven, man. Like I, I just don't see us losing against the right. against the Clippers. As, as good as they are, like Peter said, I have words about Kawhi's knee, and I don't think that um, the Clippers supporting cast is the best. I don't. I don't think it's the best, in, no, in my opinion. Good. Like outside of, outside of Kawhi, you know, uh, Paul George, Westbrook. 
I mean, I don't really see any of their other players doing anything against our players because we we got we got some we got some decent role players and you know He's like Westbrook, Norm Powell, not bad role players. Zubac, not bad. The role players are terrible. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I didn't say they were terrible. I just said, like, in regards to, like, if you match us up mm-hmm. in, in regards to, like, role players, I think our role players are slightly better because not only can they defend, like, they're all – they have, like, great wingspan. They're all good wing defenders, which is what we've been uh, crying out for. And I, they're all they're all decent shooters on their day. You know, when they get hot, it's a wrap. And we only need Mavericks one or two. Better what? Hmm? Like the Mavericks defense is better than the Clippers, and that oh, sentence yeah. a year ago sounds crazy. Right. But like I watched the Clippers try and guard guys with like I think Russ is like their second best, like I would say their second or third best perimeter guy on defense. I don't know. Like I wa- I watched the Clippers because I, I for any of you who don't know, I live here in Southern California. So I watch like plenty of Clippers games because for whatever reason their games are just on like the public stations, so you can just watch them. I don't see the Clippers staying in front of a lot of guards, like out west. I don't see it. I, but again, yeah. if you guys think Kawhi's knees are actually good, fair enough. But yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Luca, Luca, and oh yeah, I forgot about Hart. Uh, wait, no Harden. Oh, 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 wait, what happened to Harden? Ooh. Yeah, Harden, Ooh. Harden was in play as well today. No, what, no, Harden. What do you mean, no, Harden? Why is, is he why is he out though? No, he no out? Harden, yeah, Harden will be playing. Nah, was he missing over or Harden was hey, no, hey, hey, no, 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 Harden, hey, David, David, be playing. David, David, hey, don't do that, man. That's if crazy. Harden ain't playing, no, you already crazy. know the clips ain't doing jacks. No, Harden, <laughs> Harden's playing. That's yeah, Harden's playing. Hey, don't do that, hey, but hey, you just didn't play today, probably. Fine. Only foot thing injury. I'm gonna say, he's got foot injury. Foot injury, he's got. Does he Ooh. actually know? Yeah, foot injury. We, Are you hey, sure? Hey. Where did you read that, Fats? There, there is some the news on the timeline that I saw. Well, they can't. They can't write. He's hung over because <laughs> he was at the strip club last night. <laughs> Limited <laughs> time in return. Like, hey. no, nah, man, he's fine. He's fine. There, I'm, there's there's some news, say, there's I'm some news on this. the timeline. Timeline, cutting edge sauce right there. Kyrie, my boy, Kyrie, gonna be putting people in the spin. Apparently, it's according to the Luka, Gonna be snatching ankles with a step back three. Ooh. That's what we going. Apparently, gonna, that's, according that's to the Clippers, yeah. that's what we own. That's what we okay, own. So we we winning. I'm looking at the ESPN website. Uh, we know the Knicks game is also on the Saturday, and so is the Nuggets game. So whoever they play, mm. yeah. So that Magic, that Magic Cavaliers game, that's going to be a 12 o'clock West Coast game, man. There will be no ratings for that one. I don't know what to tell you. Crazy, crazy. Kevin, what are you saying? Timberwolves, Suns. Uh, Timberwolves in seven. Um, okay. I think this will be the coming out party for for Ant Edwards. Cats back in time. That's what they needed. Um, you know, he's gonna get. He'll be fine. I think it'll pop. Nobody really likes Cat, but he's still a really good basketball player, right? Um, so it's just that you got at the end of the day in playoffs, things get tighter, right? Like you can you can try and score. All you want, but the, the Timberwolves defense is significantly better than Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't have an identity at the moment. And as much I get it, like Devin Booker, KD, Bradley Beal, I understand it. But when it comes down to like team basketball, chemistry, I'm, I'm giving the edge to the Timberwolves this year. It's a really unpopular pick, but I'm giving it, to, I think they're going to take it in seven. And I, I think the way they're going to do it is we're going to see who Anthony Edwards is supposed to be. Like I think we're going to see Anthony Edwards have a playoffs. Like uh, this series is going to define him as a superstar. Like you're going to be like, all right, cool. He just he took over. He just stepped over KD. He just stepped over Devin Booker. I think that's what we're going to see. Could be wrong though. You know, it's going to be a dope series. Yeah, I'm, I would I'm, not be surprised if Phoenix takes him, but it's going to be a dope series. But I'm taking. Oh, yeah. I'm going. With, I'm going Timberwolves. And then for um, the Chips other series, if Kawhi is healthy, like if mm. Kawhi is actually not hurt, like if Kawhi is not healthy, then yeah, it's a wrap. I will give it to them. As if Kawhi is healthy, it's going to be Clippers in six or five. Um, with Luke averaging 30-something points, um, Kyrie averaging whatever, I don't think those other guys will show up. I don't think we'll see – I think I don't think we'll see shit from P.J. Washington. I don't think Daniel Gafford – like, you're talking about Bozo Gene being walked off of Beal? Like, <laughs> these guys just can't – like, P.J. Washington from the Charlotte Hornets is all of a sudden going to become, like, this great role player. Like, he's uh, – listen, he's like, those dudes are stepping into a realm that they are not used to at all. Meanwhile, you will have – Three guys who can go supernova at any point, James Harden, 
Paul George, and I'm sorry, Kawhi Leonard at his best in the playoffs. And this is where Raptors bias comes into, but it's the truth. We've seen it with San Antonio. We've seen it with every team he's been on. If he is healthy and at his best, he will be probably a top three player in the entire playoffs. Like, I think they're that good. Like, I actually have the Clippers. Like, I have a bet on them. They're my future to win the, to win the, to, to win the West. Just because I truly was like, if this team clicks and gets to where they need to be, they have all the pieces they need. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm actually a bigger fan of the Clippers than most people. Um, but if Kawhi's not healthy, then yeah, well, that's it. That's, that's, there's no – he is the piece. The rest of them I don't really care about. No, but he's first, the one that like needs one, to go off. One thing I will on. say, though, is uh, don't forget we have we have somebody no, 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 no. we have one of the best you know players to ever play the game as our as our head coach. So I think that also should play a factor. You know he knows how to do matchups. He knows how to write up plays. You know he knows how to nullify certain individuals because he's played against some of the best individuals. So yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, for I, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a lot closer. You know, I was just, you know, I was just doing my thing. You know, I was just getting hyped, yeah, you know, for my Mavericks. You know, you should, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so right. yeah. But it's, def- right. it it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be tough. It's definitely going to be a tough. It's definitely going to be. You tough. got Tyron like, Lue versus Jason Kidd's going to be fun. I think Tyron Lue is the better coach. Mm-hmm. I don't even think it's questionable. But I think in the strength of it, you have this is the same thing. Like the same way I'm talking about Ant, this being his playoffs. This could be Lucas. I mean, Luca's already done it. He already has made it to the Eastern. But if Luca does it again this year, takes down the Clippers on the way, it's kind of like you know what you, you know where you need to do well in the playoffs to kind of like be the MVP the next year. It's weird that the NBA does this, but it's, it's really based on how you did in the regs. It's really based on the, the season before. <laughs> if Luca, if Luca makes yeah. the Eastern Conference Final again this year, and like it goes seven or he makes it to a Finals, book it now. Luca Doncic will be the MVP of the league next year. Like if he does it in this playoffs, that's what will happen. I have so, a question. I don't know if any of you would know the answer or how long any of you have particularly been watching basketball as far as, like, how far back. Have we seen somebody lose, like, three playoff series in a row to another team and that other team, like, not win a championship or, like, be in the championship? Have we seen that? We have. Uh, I just can't think of it. It's yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. I, can't I think, think, it, I think, it's, I think it's happened in the 90s for sure. <laughs> It's definitely it's happened, happened in the nineties. It's happened in. Like, it's I don't happened. know how old you guys are, but like, were we like, I'm, like I've I'm, seen I'm, it. Like, I'm we can like, it. it's happened with like the East with LeBron's time. There's been plenty of like, I'll take that question away, but it's happened. It's definitely. I'm old enough to see. I've seen. I've seen I was going to say because like, because I've been like avidly watching and paying attention to basketball since like '04. And mm, I want. Yeah, say, no, I've been. Since, I was, was going to say I want to <laughs> say since then. I don't think it's happened. But like this would be a place. Mm. Basically, I'm saying like if the Mavericks don't beat the Clippers, but then the Clippers like don't get there, I want to be. I feel like that's. I feel like that's unprecedented for like my time watching basketball. Mm. It's definitely happened. I can't remember who. But yeah, I, I got a debt. So I gotta watch the stuff, to my girl. No, but, um, thanks for having Come me on, on, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Man, anytime, hey, man. Go, go, man. man. Yeah, man. Anytime, man. Pick up, man. Definitely, man. Come on, man. Nice, nice, nice challenge, y'all. We'll do <clears> it again. Yeah, man. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll shout you next time. Hundred percent, without yes. doubt. Jazz, what are you saying, fam? You know what I'm saying? Timberwolves Suns. Timberwolves Suns. Sim- to keep it short, I can't lie. I just don't trust the Timberwolves. Um, I feel like at times they could be look, which make again makes sense because he's one of the better players and Edwards, so they look for him. But I feel like sometimes his shots, what probably pisses me off about him is one, his decision making, which you can still learn about. Him. He's still young, but also his shot selection can sometimes be extremely terrible. I feel like he takes some time because again, he has that rational confidence where he feels like I'm just him, so I just go and take that shot. But I feel like it goes against sometimes the it goes against sometimes the uh, Timberwolves, but it's also what makes him a fair great as a player. Mm-hmm. But I feel like having having KD Booker there, I think I just have a lot of trust in that. Nurkic, hey, I, people know my feelings about Nurkic. I think that dude I'm is. Gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Go on. Considering what we could have got handed in the playoffs in terms of a matchup, yes, I think this is the best case scenario for this version of Nurkic. You just got to stay heard, on the floor against Gobert. You yeah. just got to hold your own rebounding wise. That's yes. it. Yeah, you know, like I, I, I don't know. Like it's just again, just kind of more of memories of just seeing him in the league for many years. And even though you're you're making a good point there, but honestly, I'm actually gonna. Say it just like that in terms of what, how how long the seasons go. I think nobody actually said that. 
I think the Suns win in five. I think Timberwolves get one game, and I think the Suns do it in five games. I'm yes. gonna say six games just because I I can't see the Suns winning two games. Well, man, eh, I don't want to say I can't. I I can't see them winning four out of five against Minnesota with three of those games being in Minnesota. I feel like I you really rarely see a lower seed winning five games. But do you, do, 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 wrong, do, but do, I, do you, the Cavs beating the Knicks or the Knicks beating the Cavs last year in that four or five? I want to say that was the only lower seed five game victory in the last 10 years, but I could be wrong. If any of you can think of one, let me know. Um, can I, but can I ask them, do you think though the Suns are, are like truly like a lower seed team, or was it just more the fact of how you wreck the season just in general went? Um, do I basically do I think they're like the caliber of a six seed team? Yeah, or, or even lower because well, obviously they'll be fighting literally. Yeah, two but I don't, I don't think the seeds in the Western Conference like mean as much this year because mm -hmm. at tenth place you have a team of forty six wins. Yes. And in first place, you have a team of 57. You To stay out of the play-in tournament, the Pelicans would have needed a 50th win mm -hmm. just to get top six. So, like, I don't think it's like other years where you just have the bottom half of the playoff field just kind of making up the numbers, and you have, like, clear superiority from one team or another. I don't think it's like that this year. So, for me, like, the seeding isn't as important as, like, the matchup would be. I would be very scared if the Suns had to play the Thunder, who just have all these guys who can run and, like, shoot, mm -hmm. compared to, like, dealing with a team that plays with a couple bigs and a team that plays drop coverage off pick and roll like Minnesota, considering they have mid-range guys. Mm. Uh, the matchups, even though I think Minnesota is a more talented team than Oklahoma City, styles make fights, and all that stuff is important. But I'm not really looking at the seeding when I'm when I'm like saying this. That's, that's that's Who did you have? Um, between this this matchup, the, between the yeah, well, Suns, I, yeah. I, I said Suns and five. I think Suns and five. five. Also, yeah. Clippers, Mavericks. Oh, I. I I just don't trust. I don't trust the Clippers at all. Like, I'm just. It feels like every time when every time when I actually put faith or some sort of like level of trust into the Clippers, they always repay me by getting beaten. Like, and then I'm I, I'm always wrong. So you know what? This time I go actually against the Clippers, and I say Mavs. I think Mavs and six though. I think that goes. I think that could be a competitive series. Interesting to see how Westbrook actually does in the in this series because I feel like I feel like. He's, doing, he's been doing he's been doing decently, I guess, off the bench. And I feel like he really embraced it this year with the Clippers. And I feel like I feel like if he just goes and plays hard, goes and try and get those offensive rebounds. Like because as you can see, man, as we can see, I think the other day when we was watching the um the, the Kings um what's the Kings Suns? Yeah, so um, just, yeah if you if yeah, if yeah, it was that game. But if you get if you get all rebound in certain um certain Parts of phases of the game, it could go massively against you. And then you have the guys, you have guys like PG, you have like guys like Harden, if Harden is going to play. I don't know, people say it's a foot injury, quotation marks, um, who can also hit shots if they get in another opportunity. But then also, the reason why I also say these things about the Clippers is because one of the players used to play for the funders, which is PG, and I have terrible players' history with this guy. I hate this guy. I hate, I generally, um, I generally hate this guy. So there's also a big reason. There's, a big, there's a, nothing will, nothing would make me more happier than the Mavs actually sweep these guys. But Mavs and six. That's crazy. Fatsy with us? Yeah. Um, Are you sure? I do have, I do have some difference here. I think I'm gonna have the, the in terms of the Suns, the Timberwolves game. I'm gonna have the Suns in seven. Okay. Some of them. Like Anthony Edwards last week, their first playoff games as well. So actually, I don't have actually, that. Actually, I think it's the second. I think it's the second um, time he's in the playoffs. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the second. third time, guys. This is third oh, it's, time. The first, it's the third time. Fair enough. You, I guys it was remember, you guys remember two years ago 
We did that series between the Grizzlies and the and the Wolves. Oh, that was the terrible. That game is the worst game. In the second quarter, you just lost. Bro, that, 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 was the worst, that was the worst series. Um, that I, was, mean, that I thought was, it was the second, but fair enough. Yeah. That was NBA Young Boy. If NBA Young Boy was a playoff series, I remember you saying that as well at the time. I remember <laughs> you saying the, that. The Wolves blew three 20 point leads and lost in six in a series. It was disgusting. And then they lost in five to Denver last year. Crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have Suns in seven. Suns in seven. seven. All right. Clippers, Mavs. So no one in this panel have ever set a swept yet, but I'm going to be the first one to say it. It'll be, it'll be a Mavs suite. It'll be a Mavs suite. Just purely, just purely because that's hate right there. I would, I would, no, no, it's not because of the hate though. Okay, give a I don't don't really, I don't really trust that Clippers team at all. Like with, without Kawhi, I don't think they're they're a playoff team. Well, Kawhi's technically not. He's he's not definitely not playing. Yeah. No one said Kawhi's not playing. We just don't know about him. It's, it's, it's like the Embiid thing, like saying, like, yeah, Embiid is playing. But don't but assume that he's definitely not going to play. Or, I mean, I guess Regar- And regardless, I regardless, regardless whatever. whether Kawhi play or not, I think they're going to get swept. So uh, even, if, even if Kawhi plays, you think they're going to get swept? Absolutely. You think anyone's getting swept in this playoffs? Yes. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know if no, nah, I know where someone's getting swept, but we'll get to that. Not, <laughs> I got one team that gets swept. I got one team that gets swept. Hey, that number two versus number seven, just saying. They can't mm. lose. They can't lose like 12 in a row to Denver. That can't happen. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No I'm just saying. You There's saying this to me, Peter. Well, you know how what the Lakers are like. You are fully <laughs> aware. You are someone who has fully spoken about and put out into the universe how bad teams are. So if there's someone who can believe in it, it's you. There's no way. They yeah. can't get swept again. That's too much. That's yeah. too much. Sure. That's, that's I'll too much. So, so you're saying a sweep. So you're saying a sweep. Cool. Fair. Daniel, what are you saying? Timberwolves, Suns. Suns in six. Suns in six. Okay, fair. As long as it, long series, long series. And Clippers, Mavs. I'm going to go Mavs in six as well. Six. Okay, first, first, first. All right, we'll go from the west. We'll go back east. Stay with you, Daniel. Book spaces. That's a Giannis list books as well, isn't it? Yep. Well, yeah. Is, is it guaranteed that he's going to miss, like, yeah, how, how long is he out for? Does anyone know how long he's going to be out for? Did they not say, they not say was... the staff? They gave us the update, like, a couple of days ago, but... We don't know, man, because I don't know the severity of the calf strain. But yeah, so, uh, I, thought, I, don't know. I thought there was any follow up from that because I know it was the calf, but and hot, but the, I mean, shit, if is it a possibility then he could miss the whole series? Yes. Because mm. if you run him out there on a strained calf, that could very quickly turn into a torn Achilles. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happened to KD five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm, I mean, yeah, that, uh, Daniel, go ahead. I just, I need just wanted to ask. You simply just have to outscore the Pacers because out of nowhere they could just make loads of shots. So Pacers in six if there's no Yanis. So you saying? Yeah, I don't think they have a timetable for his return just yet. So, yeah, so I, 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 I honestly... no, I'm saying Pacers in six. Same Pacers. All right, cool. Same Pacers in six and Cavs Magic. Magic in five because I don't rate the Cavs. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair enough. Facts. Over to you. Are you aware what conference we are in and which two matches we are talking yeah, about? I'm aware it's in the East, right? Oh, okay. Well done, mate. You know, you're with us. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you know what I was there. Box paces, my friend. You know, I'm going to say paces in six. Uh, I've watched a couple of box games. Well, like you might just, the Dame time, let's say, ah, ah, and just, you know, just go to no, work. No, it's just that. Dame time has not been Dame time in the season, Flawless. Yeah, because Yanis yeah. has been in the way. Yanis ain't there now. You know what I'm saying? Did you not go <laughs> he went, he, he, they, Didn't Dame go with, like, one of the lemons? That would have been there. Hey, didn't Dame go with, like, one of the lemons? I'm just running the Teddy Brooks, I was watching, yeah, or listening. I'm just running the jokes. I'm just running the jokes. Doc Rivers taxiing their heart, though. That's the thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got I got Pacers in six. Pacers in six. All right, Cavs Magic. Oh, lot of muzzy. Fucking hell, I got Cavs in six as well. <laughs> well, you don't rate the Magic like that. Is that what it is? Now, no, floors. He's hating on your team. Close. I think it's close, but I just think that Cavs. Cavs still got Donovan Mitchell, aren't they? In that team. Oh yeah, Spider yes, Mitchell. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember you hyping him up on one of the watch alongs we did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was one of the yeah. earliest yeah, memories. Spider Man, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was like Spider Man. Do I have one playoff series win, or am I being a hater? Who? I think they, he literally has one series Mitchell? win in the playoffs, right? Yeah, against yeah. yeah, he was he was with the Utah, right? Which they played answer in the playoffs. Yeah, the Utah. Yeah, he was he was at Utah oh, with us. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. I'm hating Magic and Six. I don't know how, but I'm hating. Yeah. What yeah. You, wait, you go to you then, Peter. Yeah. You say Magic and Six? Yeah. Magic oh, and Six. Right. Right. Books, Pacers. Bro, <laughs> the Pacers winning would be hilarious, but no one wants to see that shit. <laughs> Let's be honest. Like, really? No, what? we don't. Because what that would okay. do. Would give us Pacers Knicks like it's 1997. That's cool, that. Nobody needs that. So, like, Pacers, great season. Halliburton, I like you. Siakam, I hope you extend. But please, just lose in seven or whatever you have to do. Please. First, you know what you're saying, those two matchups. Um, in terms of the Bucks and the Pacers. I'm going to go uh, ex-head coach uh, tax. Rick Carlisle has these boys balling out. Um, I think without Giannis, they get destroyed. I, I just don't see them. I don't see them getting past Indiana. Like, I love me some Lillard. Don't get me wrong. I love Damian Lillard, bro. That That's my guy. That's mm-hmm. my guy. But I just don't think they have the supporting cast. I don't think so. The Pacers... I feel like Rick Carlisle has them. I don't know what it is about Rick Carlisle. He always, like, the way he sets his team up, like, it's always to counteract the other team and put his team in the best positions to to win games, especially in the playoffs. So, and uh, people forget that he actually, he won a champ. He he got a chip. So, you know, it's, it's um, like, he, he has the experience and he has the know-how. So, I think, I think he should, if Jan, like, remember this, this is me saying without Giannis, without Giannis, I think the Pacers are going to win in, in six. With Giannis, it's definitely going to be a Paces lot harder. Seven. Yeah, <laughs> Pacers in seven. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, man, Giannis just be out there getting in the way, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm going Pacers. Pacers in six. And nice. uh, in regards to the Magic and the Cavs, I think people are sleeping on the Magic. I've been saying this all year. The Magic, are, they're, they're scary. Uh, it's scary. Are they unstoppable? I, <laughs> yeah, that's how you say it. I don't hear hey, hey, hey. <laughs> scary. I was just about to say that. You took the words out of my mouth. Shout out Terry Flores, bro. Why are you putting the team? Why are you team? Why are you putting the brother on the spot? Hey. Yes, it's right. It's nah, only but, right because because as soon as he said that, that's the first thing that came to mind. I just remember Lee Gunna go talking about it. That's what makes me laugh. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, I think uh, I, I've been I've been talking about the magic for the last couple of years, and you know they they've been getting progressively better and better. And this year, we just seen you know the culmination of all of that. So I know the Cavaliers they they have um they have Jared Allen and they have uh, Spider, but I just think I don't don't count these don't count these Magic out don't count them out. It's gonna be a good series, and I think it's gonna go down to Game Seven. Uh, I'm I'm taking the Magic in seven. Okay, fair. So big up to Steven as well. He's a Magic fan. Says, put respect on the Magic. Big up Flawless Orlando Magic. Big up to you for the Super Chat, Steven. Much, much, much appreciated. Jez, over to you as well. Bucks Pacers. Yo, Jez. Hey, man. Ghanaian Wi-Fi. This is what happened. <laughs> this guy. Big up, man. This is what mm-hmm. guy always said. This. Jez just disappeared. He's going to say Pacers because fuck Doc Rivers. <laughs> and he's going to say the Cavs because... He knows no players in the magic. He's oh, he said he said be right back. Oh, he <laughs> right he when he B-I-B. gets called he on. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back to it. Right. We'll, 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 stay, we'll stay in the east. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember everyone's eighth and seventh seed. PO will okay, go to so you. in we'll my brain, it. in my brain, yeah. it's heat mix. Wait, Celtics versus 
Oh, we're at Heat Knicks. So, all right, cool, cool, cool. So, who you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, my, so my two pick. matchups. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. only one who has a different matchup is Fator. He has Sixers, Knicks, and Heat mm. Celtics. Good memory because I would not remember that shit. So, yeah, yeah Fator and two matchups. Yeah, man, 100%. Yeah, man, this is his team, man. This is why we can't trust these Bayesian niggas, man. Yeah, 100%. Hey, I'm the one who gets the team together and keeps the ball ticking, make sure everyone gets their shots off. Shut up. Hey, man. man this guy, this guy's a high flexing. percentage. This guy's flexing being a glorified recycler. This is crazy. <laughs> it is. Hey, I don't know who the best, like, the best guys in the NBA. Crazy. Hey, yeah, shut this guy. This crazy. <laughs> Try to hey. be a number 10, how to step back. It is what it is, man. I get it. Whatever, man. Yo, get to the matchups. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Um, get to the matchups. Eat this <laughs> That's the most 90s thing in the world. Every game might be 90 to 89. Dante DiVincenzo will not rest the entire series. Uh, I'm gonna say Knicks and seven. So you got so you got heat. So heat Knicks. You got Knicks and seven. All yes. Right. And your second and your your second. Uh, Celtics and five, dude. Embiid's Embiid's leg is not. It's not great. It can't be. Also, they're not as talented as last year, and they lost in seven. Mm-hmm. I'll say Celtics in five, but I would love, I'll put this out there. Mm. If the Sixers want to like grow up and finally beat the Celtics, I would love for that to happen. Yeah, well, to Embiid, but it's not losing cool. and the Bucks losing and just somebody coming out of the East that's just not them would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. It would 100%. be like, oh, just to this might be the year we end up with like a Thunder. And like Pacers championship or something just outrageous. <laughs> no, hey, I thought like, yeah, bro, the, the ratings uh, would suck, but I would watch every second. Oh, right, bro, it, it, that would be that would be this would be the best opportunity. Although, the if the Thunder game. did win a championship like that, Sam Presti would never trade any of his draft picks, and that would probably have the league in a really weird spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's actually cr- it's, that would be actually crazy if there's any scenario that would that happen. That would be. Compl- I I just want like a random finals. I kind of do. Hey, I'm over okay, all the okay. I'm, I'm here for an OKC final man. Sh- pushing the share agenda. Well, we say the Magic versus Minnesota. There you go. Uh, uh, run that. Oh, well, the Magic fuck versus it. honestly, <laughs> fuck it. That means we're not in it though. So yeah, that was not Minnesota. We have to beat them. Anyone else? I'm kind of okay with Fez. Fez. Pelicans, man. Zion B.I. Okay, so, right. Pelicans Magic, I would be there. With it. I, 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 I like the Pelicans, Pelicans going to my Pelicans fun. to the Eastern Conference, because I don't understand how a team in New Orleans is in the West, but whatever. <laughs> First, um, yeah, Eli, your matchups, Celtics and Knicks, same uh, matchups, isn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, it's Celtics, uh, Celtics, Sixers, and the Knicks Heat. Ah, uh, this right here. This is gonna be a tough matchup because I think I think they match up really well against each other. You know, they they like pound for pound. I think they're about equal. But man, Jalen Brunson, man, he's been playing out of his skin. Josh Hart's been pretty. He's been playing well. Um, fucking, I'm going Heat and seven. You going to- playoff? <laughs> Jimmy's just. Playoff, playoff Jimmy is different sauce, playoff man. Jimmy, yeah, you go playoff hey, Jimmy. Hey, hey, listen, y'all, y'all don't understand. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler is one of my favorite season. players. I watched him last season, man. I was there. I watched I him. Hey, he, he, when I would expect us to do anything last year. We play off, yeah, man. Playoff Jimmy, man. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know different, to different see sauce, bro. Different sauce, saying. and then and then you you add Scary Terry to the mix. You got Bam Adebayo. No man. You got um, what was his name? Your second round die. Die, all of you die. Give me Knicks bucks like a real coach. <laughs> hey, me. listen, man. Hey, listen. If Jimmy Buckets wasn't on that team, I, I'd give it to the Knicks. But Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets, bro, different sauce, bro, different sauce. Oh, Knicks finals, different sauce. So, Celtics Heat. Uh, Celtics Heat. Uh, no, Celtics Sixers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, Celtics Sixers. Yeah, Celtics Sixers. That's your money. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Celtics. They they went in. They they went in. Cool. They went in five if Embiid's out. All right, Fez. Yo, Jez, you there? Yeah, I'm here, I'm back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Just making sure. <laughs> books, paces, and Cavs magic quickly. Um, books, 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 books. What the hell? Books, paces. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I'll, I'll be real. I will. I will not even. I will not even pretend like I have watched any paces basketball this season. I will not even. <laughs> 
Uh, we know what he's going to say. I don't even know why we're asking him. Yo, it's crazy. If, if, if you say what Peter said is going to be bad, because Peter guessed for you. So I want to hear what he says. Yeah, go on. No, go on, Jess. Go on, Jess. Because he did guess. He was like, you, you ain't watching that right, shit. This, but go on. That's the funny part, because I think Pacers could win in six. <laughs> Yo, man, make the faces. All right. And the, 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 magic's in, the magic in the caps. Um, for pure chaos, I want to see the magics. But I told you, I told you. <laughs> I said, I said for pure, for pure chaos, I just love. Chaos. No, I told you. you. He's not, not watch the magic. He's not watching the face. You think <laughs> yes, about no, it? Well, but can you play no. me like? Is anyone, so anyone, so anyone on this planet tell me you've been watching the this magic? It's actually the so predictable. I have. Okay, I I have. Have. Yeah, he's he's a true man of basketball, man. A true man of basketball. Yeah, like, uh, no. place, have you guys watched the Magic or the Pacers on the consistent Bro, basis? I'm not going to lie. I yeah, watched I the Magic play the Suns, and I saw three 6'10 niggas and two 6'8 niggas out there. I was like, I'm not watching this. This is not basketball. They like all their alien niggas and just put them on the floor. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, put Joe, I'm seeing, the only time I'm gonna see about the magic ridiculous. We had the Grayson Allen, Eric Gordon, fucking guarding, fucking Mo Wagner. It's bullshit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's Frank. It's Frank. It's Frank. Oh, it's, I think it's Frank. That being said, no, no, no. Both Wagners are on that team. They have oh two shit, tall that's funny. Niggas. That's funny. They have two tall German niggas, hella Africans, wingspans, and, 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 one, and one, <laughs> one, 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 one American. Hey, that, that's why they don't sleep on the magic, bro. Don't bro, they the magic is ugly hoops, but it's gonna work. Like they're gonna I'll go to tell you, bro. and just put out the craziest defensive. These games are gonna be so nasty. I can't wait. I'm at, I'm gonna Man. watch every game. Man, I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna be so much fun to watch. You will be there, people. Play so my, much fun. Be, you will be hey, look, those there. NBA TV series. I will be there. We'll be there and play back with all of hey. these games. The Lakers get swept by the Nuggets. Don't care. Not interested. NBA TV. With nobody watching because everybody's watching LeBron and Steph, I'll be there. Jez, what you Jez, what you saying? Um, <laughs> Celtic seven sixes. Celtic Celtic seventy sixers. Um, I think the I think the Celtics beat the Sixers in six. Yep, I say six. And Knicks Heat was your second versus seventh, right? But who, yeah. which game was it? This Next um this, this is the second yeah second seed versus seventh seed. You had the Heat, yeah, getting out of the place. Um. I can't lie. I'm going with Nick seven in seven. Okay. Hey, Jazz, we're the same picks. Oh yeah. shit, that's funny because uh, I, I, I think I think I think Nick because I think this this Nick's heat just feels like this is a game that goes to game seven. It just feels like oh yeah. Well, see, hey, hey, I'm I'm with that. Hey, for, for content creator purposes, yeah. nothing better than game seven. I mean, Run me game I, I, seven. I, 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 I would be there too because like, bro, it's like you have you just have Bronson out this. Give me the ball, and get the far other way. The even centrals out there hitting his shots from the corners, and we know what the heats are like. The heats is always going to be fucking try hard, and they're somehow going to get all the time at least two games. It feels like so. I feel like this is this this game. This really just feels this feels like a seven game series, and I've just picked the Knicks this time. Who, um, I think the Knicks Jimmy. has home court advantage, right? Playoff Jimmy, hey, I, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love play I love playoff Jimmy, man. But hey, now that I've no about Jimmy. It, Sleep now that I've actually thought about it for like two seconds. These Eastern Conference playoff series, fire. They might Aya. be fire, but they could also be the most cat shit things I've ever seen. Bro, <laughs> you me yo, Cavs magic. That's about to be <laughs> no, like it, like it will be fun. But like, think about it. Giannis doesn't play. The Pacers might just score one fifty every game. It'll be fun to laugh at them. The Sixers might get swept, low key. Heat and Knicks will just channel everybody's inner like '90s basketball love. <laughs> That's why we're gonna watch it. But like, let's be honest. You know, Divincenzo's not subbing out. Jimmy Butler's playing 46 minutes. Um, Jalen Brunson's taking 35 shots. They're running high pick and roll every play. Like, I don't know, man. It's, it's weird hoops, man. It's weird hoops. It it is real hoops. I will be there. Cavs Magic. I will be that. That series better be good. If it's not, I'm gonna be mad. There you go. Says those of you, oh, yeah, Fats, you with us, my friend? Yeah, um, right. I do, I do have the Boston 76ers as a first bit. Okay, um, I'm gonna say Boston sleep again. No, no, good. hold on, time out, time out. I did that, 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 or Boston, you have Heat. Sixers, Knicks, and Boston, oh, Sixers, Knicks. okay, Sixers, Knicks, okay, thanks for the reminder. Okay, Sixers, Knicks, I'll say Sixers in five. Uh, sorry, Knicks in five, sorry, Knicks in five. 
Plus? Okay. Uh, Boston Heat, I'm going to say Boston in six. Boston Heat, Boston. Okay. Plus. Hey, just remember, just remember, the, the Celtics have not beat the Heat in the playoffs in like five years. Let hey, that right. sink in. How many times has he played in the five years? Like four times. Uh, four times. Like three or four times. And, they, and the Heat have – the Heat have – Yeah. Hey, oh, no, they beat him when – they beat him in the game seven to go to the finals, and then Jason yeah, Tatum – Yeah, that's the same one Yeah, you will never yeah, else forget about Jason Tatum. No, man. I will never. Well, I will never. Wide open three. Three. Jason Tatum shot like 22% in the finals, and I don't like how people don't remember that. We glossed by that too quickly. Hey, I was saying this – Jason Tatum, corniest nigga out there. Do you, do you text his Kobe when he's already dead? It doesn't make sense. Like, I, I am I'm so. Hey, it's I'm the light skin tax, bro. Finals. It's the I'm light skin mad. tax. Man, I know. I remember you going on the buy at the time, but still now to this day. Like, 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 yeah. Bro, we, we are, I don't want a scenario where Ahmed all of a sudden comes from the fucking trenches that he's in. And says, I'm a Celtics fan. Fuck out of here, bro. Nah. Well, he was in the no, chat. I'm the in the chat. Ahmed, stick yeah. to your stick to your Aryans. Yes, yeah. yes. No fun. Joke, man. All right, so who have you? So, Fats, you said you had the Knicks and you had the Celtics. I had the Knicks. I had the Knicks in five. Yeah. And then Boston in the six. Yes. Yeah, okay. But, like, first, first. Daniel, I thought I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, you had the Heat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you had the six. Yeah, because yeah, you had the Heat. Six. Yeah, I think Fats is the only one that had something different. Oh, was it? Okay. All right. Yeah, go on, Daniel. Say your two matchups. My bad, my bad. So, hitting six against the Knicks, people just don't can't doubt at us in the playoffs. Anyone can turn yeah. good. Anyone can get it. Anyone. Yeah, anyone can. Yeah, anyone does turn good. Remember, Caleb Martin and what's your Max Struess turn good in a, in a seven-game series. About. Who are these niggas, man? <laughs> no, this, is what, this is all it is, man. Like, some random dudes from college coming in. What is me? And this just guy, like yo, they, they, these, these you don't guys. Know when he's out there splashing freeze, you don't know people. Oh, this, this, yeah. These are some random. These are some random. Fuck, man. These are some. These are some random. Dudes. Dudes. Hey, for, for us, these are the bunch of random dudes that did four years in college and still somehow poop in the playoffs. It doesn't make sense, man. It is, man. Skills is skills is skills, man. Right until they out there just getting buckets. And your other matchup as well, Daniel. The Knicks versus Celtics. Whoever you had. From. No, it's Celtics, Celtics versus Celtics. 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 Other matchup. I got, six, I got Celtics in Celtics in five. All right, first, first, first. Before we continue, big up to everyone that's still locked in. We still have over 115 people in here. Run up the, the likes. Run up the likes. Like check one, two, one, oh, you two. You're not entertained. They're in, exactly. Make sure you share across all the social still. Four likes. Subscribe to the channel as well. Hit the notification bell whether you're watching this live right now. Freeloaders. Or watching this back. Four likes. All of you who haven't liked, I hope you at least disliked. Yes, hit run up the yes, engage something. As it is, yes, engage. Hell, you want to use the no, comment section no. to let us know why you're disappointed in us? That's fine too. I don't care. If you if you if you guys if you guys hate the fact that Fatua didn't didn't know the matchup earlier, say it. Is that was crazy, by the way. I did a deep dive, you know. I did a deep dive. That's the funniest shit. All deep dive. <laughs> And the, cra- and the craziest thing, the craziest thing, he forgot voice. he talked about it before. Well, he thought he thing. was going back, <laughs> running it back. Oh, my. That was crazy. It's all mad. It's all mad. <laughs> Big up to H. He's asking Peter, you're going to be on every son's watch along. Obviously, he's a son's fan, too. That's what um, I Maybe, probably, but like, guys, I have a healthy, balanced life now. I have a girlfriend, so probably not. There you go. Congratulations. Well, I'm straight up. Like, if we're playing on Friday and it's like game three, and my options are sit here and watch and yell at my TV <laughs> or go out to dinner with my girlfriend, I will not be sitting here watching and yelling at my TV. I'll tell That's you that. Fair. You understand? So it's like my, the Suns' record in games I don't watch are actually good. So you need to start. The only game I did watch, the Clippers game, and we were down 30 to four. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, I remember that. I was like, yo, what? I was like, hey, yo, what's happening? And then I didn't watch the next game, and we won. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, If it's a weekday, meaning like Monday through Thursday, I'll probably be here. If it's a weekend, there's almost no shot, unless we're playing in like the middle of the day. Yes? No, I respect them. Well, you will get all of, all of these games people we're talking about will be on the playback, people. So we will be doing watch-alongs on the playback. If you want NBA League Pass, 
Hey, link is in the membership. Link is in the bio, in, in the pinned comment, sorry, for the membership. Many great perks, including how to watch along with us. Because we'll be doing both Western Conference and Eastern Conference as well. Big up to Sunshine in the chat <coughs> also. And don't forget, this show and all the other shows on the, on the YouTube channel are available on all audio platforms as well. Ain't that right, Fats? Yes. <laughs> hey, this, this guy, bro. This guy. This guy's unbelievable. He's like, I've never seen him like, look so shook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you this, guy, this guy's on a stream and acts surprised when he gets called to attention. I don't get it. It's like it's like being a child from the teacher calling your name. Like, huh? Hey, what? You just say that. I'm 44. <laughs> you shout at any random number. I was at the top of like, bro, be literally. Yeah. Bro, I said thumbs up. I thumbs up me. Yeah, of course, man. Yes, yeah, so it's more <laughs> iTunes, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud people. Wherever you listen to podcasts, type in Sarcasm City TV and it will pop up. But I don't know why you wouldn't want to watch this on YouTube, but big up to everyone that's locked in. Facts will actually go to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there you go. Because your Lakers are involved. From the <laughs> Lakers. Chat to us. No, not from the Lakers. Nuggets, Lakers. So yeah, Nuggets, chat to us. Hey. I hey, said before, I don't want to get swept again. Even I though said, we're I never, I, hey, hey, hey. What you want to happen is not what I'm asking. What, <laughs> what is your prediction? We don't care. I'm <laughs> predicting us maybe lose, but not in a sweep oh, manner. All right, cool. Yeah, so, so, what's, what, so Nuggets in what? I need a number, my friend. Nuggets in seven. Okay, so you take it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcus in seven. I respect that. I don't think that's what I do, but I respect that. I respect oh, it. I said Nuggets in seven, you know. Hey, run me in, you know what? Run oh, me well, I feel like at that me. point, you might as well just said Lakers in seven and really gone for it. Listen, do I say that because mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you know how much fun I would have? Do you know how much fun I would have? Think about it, right? Like, seven no seven, one's gonna seven, give you props if the Lakers lose in seven, they're just gonna laugh at the Lakers lost. <laughs> you a might as well just risk it. A, se a seven game series where Eddie, Eddie and Fatou are gonna be stressed just to lose. I, yeah. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> you yeah. know what? That's actually better. Although I hear, but at that point, I would have just said Lakers in seven, fuck it, and just gone full irrational. Yeah, <laughs> facts. You had the Warriors, correct? Oh, You're yeah, now the playing as well. Warriors, yeah, I have the Warriors. So, Funda, Funda Warriors. I'll go Warriors in seven. Okay, two seven game series for yeah. one and for one and eight and two and seven. All right, fast yeah. man. I hope you're right, man. Hey, run me as many seven game series as possible. <laughs> I need as many seven game series as possible. So okay, I'm yeah. all for of it. The drama, I'm with it. So fact for probably when the only time. I hope you're right on both those instances. I really do. I really do. Jazz will go to you, my friend. No, <sighs> I, I keep I keep it simple. I keep it simple, man. Nuggets and four. <laughs> now you're doing it again. You're doing it again. Obviously, this is something that I want. But you know what? This time, I give some little bit of craze and be a bit more rational. And I think Nuggets and five. All right. So you give them a game. Okay. And give them a game. Your, your OKZ versus the Warriors? Um, I, I can't lie. I think I have just go support the team and shit like that. But I also actually thinking that we actually can beat them in the playoffs. Yeah, man. Just say, okay, see, sweep. Yeah. It's all good. No, no, no I don't think we're going to sweep them. No, no, no. I don't think we're going to sweep them. Okay, see, so Germans. I think, I think, Thunders, I think Thunders and Six, we could do, to do them, though. First, Daniel, over to you. I believe you had, everyone had the Lakers, right, beating the Pelicans. Am I correct in saying so? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I had the Lakers beating the Pelicans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone else did. All right, Daniel. Nuggets, Lakers. I'm actually going to go Nuggets in six, actually. Okay, Nuggets in six. First, first, first. And Thunder Warriors. Sorry, Jez, but Warriors in six. Warriors in two. Hey, yeah. run me two, hey, run me two six-game series with those. Eli, same to you. Nuggets, Lakers. Sweet. <laughs> if I just smiled, you know, I just said sweet. <laughs> and <laughs> I get them very well. Hey, hey, you know, get them boobs out. Get them boobs yeah, out. It's, it's crazy. And Thunder, Thunder Warriors. Uh, Thunder Warriors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, I can't lie. That one's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough because the Warriors have the experience, but the Thunder have the athleticism. That's what they're from, dude. Like we so, are really good in transition as well, and I think the defense. Right, that's what I'm saying. Is unread as well. How good, how good of defense we actually play. I don't know if these guys talking Premier League in this chat right now. This is outrageous. 
Yo, you got you guys are crazy. Take that shit. Take that shit on Monday night show. Unhinged. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. I know it's going this this game right here. This series will go to a game seven. It will definitely okay. be going to a game seven. And who wins the game? Who wins the game seven? The Warriors. I'm gonna have to say the Warriors, man. I can't count. I, I, I can't. I can't go against Steph. I cannot. I see, cannot I go against Steph Curry. I see. I, cannot, I seen it. Cannot. I seen it. See that big up Dennis in the chat as well. See, this is this is but well, this is the thing that right for me, which I would like to this is where I wanna because obviously some of these guys that we have in the team um haven't played in the playoffs yet, so have played in the playoffs yet. So I would like to see how some of the guys that have been in the playoffs <laughs> gonna deal with it. But also I want to see some of the guys who haven't been in the playoffs deal with it, like Chad, both of the Jalen's, Isaiah's, Carson Wallace, all man. I think there's more players on the team that haven't been with this team as a group in the playoffs than guys like Shea and Dot, for example, who've been here since like in the earlier beginning. But I feel like this is a um Eli, I think you mentioned I think it was Eli who mentioned it, or maybe Cameron who talked about how whoever makes it further in the playoffs um can boost their MVP stock for already next season. And I feel oh, like yeah, Cameron. Yeah. the way Shea the way Shea's been playing this season, I feel like he can I believe he can really show out as a player that's like, you know what, these are the players where you even if we don't go and win the playoffs, at least it's kind of like you can certify and say, like, no, this is no, this wasn't some sort of fluke season where he's been leading the funders to the first seed. Now I feel like he can continue showing it in the playoffs. But let's see, let's see how it goes, man. Like it's a it's a it's a young team. It's a young team um who has been playing hard on um who's been playing hard um the long the whole season. Um we have Guy, the good thing is we have guys actually off the bench that actually been scoring as of late in the last couple of months or so. Like I think Aaron Wiggins has been coming through with a couple of points not off the bench. Um, Isaiah Jones, when he's on it, can hit a couple of frees, which we really need him to do. Um, Jalen Williams, despite not being maybe the best shooter, um, I think the fact that he's just a really good hus hustler, him and Kendridge actually, both of them been actually good hustlers and rebounders of, of the ball as well, which will help out. And... The only guy though that I'm having concerns of is Gordon Hayward. I feel mm -hmm. like ever since he's joined us, I feel like I don't really like. Yes, he's going to bring the playoffs experience in the sense, and also the fact that he's a veteran will help the team in terms of just voices and the <clears throat> voices and minds and that. But I'll be honest, in terms of his play, it's been underwhelming. I haven't really been impressed. But if he can shut me up in this playoffs and help us get through the first round. That would be amazing because I think we haven't made a first round since 2017 anymore. So, I'm gonna just say this, man. I don't think Gordon Hayward is the same player that he was with the Jazz. Oh, like, yeah, the Jazz, like after the Jazz, he's, he was. He was hundred percent no. But it's even though even though he's not the same player, I still kind of expect him to go at least hit the open shots at least. Like he's, it's not like he's a terrible shooter or just because the in, all the injuries that you had doesn't mean you can't shoot anymore. And I feel like this is where. I, I kind of just expect a bit better from him in terms of them situation, but other than that, yeah. Hey, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm just happy to be back in the playoffs. To be honest, it's been rough. It's been rough, man. Couple, last couple of seasons, man. See, man, are you back, man? Love that. You know what I'm saying. Um, also, also to all the haters back in the day, I actually put a tweet out um, in the group chat. All the haters talking about how Shay did a mistake signing a new contract at Oklahoma and and made made a mistake by signing a. Uh, a contract with the devil with Sam Presti, which I don't know even know where that came from. All of those people hold that because no Shea is like right. a, looking like a superstar player in the league, right. and he's doing his thing now. No, but even if he wasn't, it's a fully guaranteed contract. That's his first max extension. You don't not sign it. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's weird. People didn't want him to sign it. They said you're an idiot. Oh. This team looks like this team looks like it's never going to compete in the playoffs. Yeah. Guys, guys, he Shea was that's his first max extension. You sign it, even if you're yeah. on the fucking Charlotte Hornets. When they put that contract across to Lamelo, he's gonna sign. Oh, he's it. not. He's not. He's not. He's gonna sign that motherfucker. Ace, <coughs> Morris. But um, but yeah, man. Nah, but just help, just help you, man. Just help you. That's all I can say. Yeah, just man. Love that. Yeah, Last step, you done. Not, yeah. Go on, go on, Eli. Say, say, nah, that's cool. Go on. No, nah, I was just saying, uh, this is pretty much the first time that y'all been in the playoffs since uh Westbrook left, right? Yeah, since it was, um, no, Guys, we, yeah, we, since the bubble 2020, since right? The bubble, yeah, since the bubble, Crazy. yeah, with um, yeah, with, yeah. um CP, CP and Shay, 
and Dodd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. That's Pop right. I forgot, yeah, I, forgot, we lost yeah, I forgot CP. Was we, yeah. we gave the Rockers a good series, though, but just couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, a, well yeah. Um, Peter, the last, but definitely not least. Nuggets, Lakers, sweep. Nuggets in five. Okay, Fez and Thunder Warriors. No, I have Thunder Pelicans. Oh, you have Thunder Pelicans. My bad. Thunder will win in six games. That'd be an interesting series, still. But um, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Hold on, let me think. Mm. Thunder will win in seven games. A seven game series. Who wouldn't be seven game series? I'm that. thinking off the top of my head, what did the Thunder do if they line up across from Zion for two weeks? And I can't See, this, really this, think this of is, anything. My, my biggest issue is the guy that the, the second guy that pisses me off in this court is Giddy. <laughs> like, it's it's barbecue chick, is barbecue chick with this dude is out there on the court, but at the same time, we need him on the court. So I really like to see how we're gonna deal with the whole situation if this is the matchup. Like, no, hundred percent. Like I, I don't know. Like this is gonna obviously this is a first playoff for the Thunder, right? And like, yeah. let's be honest, it might not even be the fucking Pelicans that they're playing. But I think in exactly. this, in this hypothetical, I think this is the most fascinating matchup in the Western Conference, just to kind of look at. Hmm. I could see that kind of going either way. I think the Thunder will win eventually in seven games because I think SGA is the best player in the series. But I wouldn't be surprised if Zion just had a monster series because guys like Lou Dort just can't really guard him. Got, got is, him yeah. is, this the, is this the first time Zion been in the playoffs? He, if he yeah, gets if past the playing tournament, yes. yeah. If he gets past the playing tournament, is this oh, yeah. Been in the play- mm-hmm. no, yeah, because he didn't play when they were in it two years ago. Yeah, he was injured. I feel like, I feel like the Pelicans. Okay, were played, so, this yeah. is the Pelicans' third year in a row in the playing tournament. They got out of it once, and then they lost last year in the nine ten game to the Thunder of all teams. Hmm. But Zion didn't play last year either. At the hmm. end, was he? No, I, don't yeah, I think I think he was he because was, I think the past like up until this season. He's had problems with his weight, which is in turn gave him injury problems because you can't yeah. be at his size and be running up and down the court like that mm-hmm. and expect not to have injury problems, which is the same thing that's happened in the NBA. Even though he's a little slimmer, you know, you still can't be that I tall mean, like running up and down the court like, like that. Mm-hmm. He's still a solid like seven feet, you know what I mean? He's not like a he's not like a fat guy at all, but when you're seven feet and you're solid muscle, you're not gonna be like skinny. Hmm. No, I'm saying like he's 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 not he's not like Shaq, you know what I'm saying? Because Shaq yeah. was like, oh, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. But even still, Embiid's probably like 280 pounds at least. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, he that that's why he's have that's why he's had injury problems most of his career because you know, it, it's kind of like the same thing with like Reese James. You know, if you're that big and you're running constantly, you're gonna do damage. You're gonna do damage to yourself because you you can't be that big running around like that. You like it's just not possible. Frame reliably. Right, exactly. It, it's it's up. just not possible. It's not possible unless you're just like a freak of nature. It's not possible. Especially for guys like that who rely on like explosiveness. Exactly. Exactly. It's one thing for Luca to be kind of fat because he plays like an old man at the gym. Luca thinks a bit. You're playing if you're playing below the rim, you can be a little fat. Also, if you can change speeds and like control the tempo of the game, you can have some love handles and be fine. But if you're Zion, whose whole thing is jumping out of the gym, mm. you need to like really keep that in check to like maintain the ability to do that. Even like look at Russ. Russ, when he could Touched the top of the square was fantastic. Great athlete, great to watch. The moment a little bit of that athleticism goes, it completely changes your game and how you have to approach it. Mm-hmm. Like Luca will never go through that because he'll always just play this way. And he'll be able to shoot. So, yes. Yeah, well, yeah, because you don't lose mm-hmm. the. You, he could be 70 years old mm-hmm. and in a wheelchair and he'll still be able to shoot. That mm-hmm. never leaves you. Yeah. You know, but sure. like. That Luca, that Luca brother, that that he looks, he's built like 
he drinks Budweiser before every game. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like I, I, it's so oh, but he's still okay. the hooping. Like, so I, I have, when you can control the speed of the game happens at, you can play like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we've, we've all played pickup. There's been some old dude in the gym with, like, two moves, and that shit always works. And you just don't fucking get it. Like, it's right? the same with Jokic. Like, Jokic doesn't look like an athletic dude. Oh, like, like, if, if Jokic, if Jokic, if Jokic, if he's yeah, seven feet. Like Jokic like, is a seven foot tall big, but he also plays like below the rim. If that makes sense. Yeah. He's the same. This the game goes as fast as he wants it to go. So it's like when you have guys like that, it's like, ah, uh, well, shit. I guess we got to play like this now. Very so, cerebral players. That that's right, exactly right. what they like. They 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 see the game in slow motion. That that's how they play. You know, so if you ain't if you ain't playing on a speed, good luck, good luck. Yeah, and you have to try and speed players and teams that are built like you have to speed those teams up to where they like have to like to where they have to play kind of quicker than they would like. That's the whole like Kings thing. The Kings just make you run as fast as you can, then you get tired, then you start missing shots. They hope that they make shots and then they beat you. But so yeah, the Kings play the, the Kings play kind of like Liverpool. You know, they 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 bank on your mistakes and they and they just they just bum rush you. You know what I'm saying? Volume. Pretty much, but like for that to work, you need to be able to shoot the ball well. <laughs> no, first, it's fine. I hear that. I hear that. Well, people, hope you've enjoyed this NBA playoff slash play-ins preview 2024 courtside commentary podcast. Live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Like I've already mentioned before, I mentioned again, you'll get watch alongs from both the Western Conference and Eastern Conference on the Sarcasm City TV playback. You'll get the playing games, people. You will get playing games. So you will get Pelicans Lakers, which is Tuesday night if you're in the UK time zone, early hours of Wednesday morning. And then following that, the Kings versus the Warriors as well. So, yeah, in regards to 7 Sixers Heat, I'm not sure. Bulls, Hawks, I will be about for. So, you will definitely get three of the four playing games. Then we'll probably be back on there to do the playoff preview again once we know the brackets in full. Ain't that right, Fats? Yep, that's correct. Um, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <what's hilarious. laughs> um, Flawless. Yo, hit me. Yeah. I'm assuming you're doing Premier League content next weekend or FA Cup content. Yeah, 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 we'll be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so the games are going to start. I'm going to tell you guys now. There's going to be a game at 8 o'clock UK time. 8 p.m. UK time, yeah? You don't know which one it's going to be, but they did mm -hmm. this. Remember, like, last year and the year before, they have four games on Saturday and four games on the Sunday. Okay. They're yeah, all yeah, standalone yeah. games. You're basically no, you... getting handed, like, 10 hours of basketball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're going to start pretty early. My, the reason I'm bringing this up is if we want to do another stream right before it starts – we might just have to simulcast whatever you want to do football wise with this. Yeah, we'll which, figure it out. Which 100%. I'm down to do because, like, I'm we saying can... this as a fan of a club who's in the FA Cup semifinal, who's playing Manchester City. Uh, it's been a good run, but it's over. It's the playoffs now. It's fine. So we're gonna focus on what really matters here. Yeah, we can. We can definitely <laughs> one stream while Connor Gallagher's chasing around Phil Foden. <laughs> I'm down. I don't mind. <laughs> once they um once they end like and announce the times, then we'll pattern it and sort it out. But we can move things around because we got the YouTube, we got playback, and we got the Twitch. Yeah, so we got I would places. Expect the times are oh. we're gonna get a couple times on Tuesday when the seven seeds are decided. Mm -hmm. I would suspect we'll get a couple of those, and then actually no, we'd get all the times by Tuesday because then we'd know when the eight seed games are. Okay, first. But if yeah, I had so. to guess, if I had to guess, Cavs Magic is 8 p.m. UK time on Saturday. All right, that's calm. It's on the man. Uh, like, obviously, we'll decide if the man them like, yeah, we want to do Cavs Magic, uh, Cavs Magic, because City Chelsea on Saturday. Do, move it. If the Lakers win the seventh seed, they'll do the Lakers Nuggets at night. They'll do Lakers Nuggets at what time? You broke up a little bit there. Uh, they uh, at night time, so probably like th they probably do something like three a.m. UK time or something like that. Oh, that's calm. Me, yeah, yeah, that's calm. This band. I oh. can't lie. I either want to see the I, I want to see the Lakers in seventh, or I don't want to see them at all. Hey, run me Nuggets Lakers. Yeah. Isn't that right, Fats? Nuggets Lakers. We got this. Hey, that might be one hopefully, where. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Bye, people. Are you are you not entertained? We got so much content coming up. We had we had so much content coming up before I've even added the playing games. Now there's four playing games to add to the playback. Never mind weekend in regards to 
FA Cup, Premier League, Champions League. Don't forget, that's also on the playback. You got so much content on the gaming channel. We got our own playoffs coming up in about four or five days. So yeah, man, stacked everywhere, people. Sarcasm City TV. We gonna keep the content rolling throughout the month of April, and then you know, throughout the month to May, June, July, all through the summer, nonstop, until the Premier League season starts back all over again. Then the NBA regular season's back all over again, people. So yeah, we, you're gonna continue to get courtside commentary podcast though, like in between each round as well, people. So first round, second round, semi final, conference finals, and finals finals as well. So the man will be in the building. I'm sure more of the man will show up as well. Well, if you're not, get over to the playback. Yeah, man, there's gonna be plenty to talk about, especially when the Lakers beat beat the Nuggets in in seven games, according to facts. So yeah, man, we'll be there after <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the win. Yeah, yeah, it'll change his mind. Seven. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, if the Clippers get right. swept, you know what I'm saying? We will be there. Like Fat said. But anyways, love to everyone that's locked in. Time to shine. Glad you enjoyed the show as well, Dennis. Big up to you as well. He says, I believe the playoffs. I know Ancelotti is going to fuck up our season. Now, you must. Without Real Madrid, yeah. Chelsea, you must, for a greater good, do what needs to be done. Just saying. <laughs> But anyways, we're closing out, people. This has been the NBA playoffs like slash playing preview. You know. 20. Yeah, you must, man. NBA playoffs you slash play. playing preview. Um, Real Madrid and Chelsea. You know why. Hey, wh why? <laughs> we're just playing dumb now. All right, cool. We just United a free cup. I'm asking I'm asking I'm asking why because why give you United a free cup and then why, why City around. Why just, because Nah, because I'm, try I'm trying to make the point. Why can't United... Obviously, so, you know what? Let's talk about it in the backstage. Yeah, the yeah, backstage. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, as yeah, we were saying. NBA... Backstage. Fuck you, nigga. A NBA, NBA playoffs <laughs> slash <laughs> play-ins <laughs> preview. Two hours. Big up to everyone that's tuned in, man. NBA playoffs slash <laughs> play-ins preview 2024. Courtside commentary <laughs> podcast live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Big up. Thank you very much for tuning oh, in. Man. Catch you later on today for... The fan calling show, talk your oh, ish. Oh, I will not be, be there. Big up, though, fan guys. calling show, talk your <laughs> ish. And then Peter's beloved Chelsea on the playback. Chelsea oh, versus shit. Evan. We're Life That's right. Yeah, you blame me. They haven't disappointed me yet. That means and we haven't played. And okay. then following that, nope. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 1 a.m. UK time, people. So the same time this Although, live show started. The United Chelsea special. Although, out of nine. So we're safe. <laughs> hey, hashtag <laughs> progress. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag progress. And that being said, there's only one way to end the stream. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait. Have I, I'd even add it on here. Hold up. Bear with me. Hey, I switch this over. What happened to the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> that's that's the way, but here can I just say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. All right. All right big up the panel.